Yes, it is. Oh, you guys like the emo? I'm pretty proud of it. I'm pretty proud of it. Um. <clears throat> Good morning. Good morning, all. Good morning, all. I'm scrolling back up through the chat since uh, I missed so much. Oh, Uncle Crazy Boss has been summoned. I see that he has also found the new emote. Don't you guys want to make that one? Clearly, clearly, Uncle Crazy Boss is like, you know, the the lurk emote was spurred. I, it was necessary because many of you are lurking. However. Creepypasta feel like was he was he made it known he was lurking and so he's been he's he, I mean yeah this was basically it was it was inspired by him okay not that a lurking mode is you know oh, damn it not off 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 the mic is across the room it is <clears throat> I haven't had a coffee yet guys ignore me Ignore me until now that I have everything I need. Um, it's so nice. Oh, it's so cute. Guys, so let me just tell you something. That was harder to make than you think, okay? Making him a little 8-bit Jabba was very difficult. Um... Just saying, all right? Just saying. But, oh, well, hi, RJ City. I had my mic across the room. I had, I had, I wasn't, I wasn't prepared. I wasn't prepared for anything. Do I have everything out? We good? I think so. I got my copy. Thank you for alerting me to the mic being across the room. Yeah. Yeah, good morning all, good morning all, good morning, good morning. Glad you guys like it. Yes, I had, so I found like, okay, listen. I'm pretty much like, I would say 80% uh, of that, I had to like hand draw, all right? And then I had to turn them into a little I had to turn him into 8-bit, and then the letters were... It was exhausting, but I was very proud of it when I was done. Tell us about the mug. Well, this is... This is a Western Village... Hold on. Western Village Park. RV Park. Pennsylvania. Let me get a sip. It's all heavy-duty, and it's got this... I don't know what this is called. With this, like, speckled... Whatever. Um, wait, wait. Eh? Uh, it's got a cowboy on it. Look at him. Yeehaw. Yeah. I'm trying not to spill my full cup of coffee all over my desk. That would be a tragedy. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Um, yeah, it's a great mug. It's a great mug. I talk about it. It's the one me and Rhonda, we were on a road trip. We stopped at the RV park. One of many. They were very sweet. We bought all their merch because they were nice. They were nice. They were like a nice old couple that ran the place. We had we bought all kinds of stuff. It's called Speckled. Wow. 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 Thank you for your uh, your insight, RJ City. I appreciate it very much. <laughs> Thank you all uh, for also paying the tax. Although it looks like not everyone has paid the tax. I'll give you time. You have time. You have time. You know, you have time. I'm not rushing you. Um. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I love all the little different colored tanks. My okay tanks. Oh. They're so cute. So cute. So, um. Everybody good? We good? It's Wednesday. I'm hot, so I was freezing, and now I'm now I'm now, and I was like, "You saw in the picture, no hoodie, right?" But then I get up, and I'm like moving around and doing stuff and whatever, and then, and I was like, "Oh, I'm cold, so I put a hoodie on." But then after doing all that, I'm hot now, and now especially sitting with 
coffee is just too hot. So I'm definitely gonna shed this hoodie. So, you know, don't get attached to it. I mean, maybe get attached to it. It's a great hoodie. It's a good, it's a good hoodie. This is the hoodie I'm most famous for, guys. I don't know if you know that. It's uh, it's my most, it's my most watched hoodie. Oh my God, it is also July. The fuck? When did that happen? So it's not my birthday month anymore. Well, thank you guys for making June such an amazing birthday month for me. It really did feel like a birthday month. You guys made me feel like the whole the whole month I felt like I was celebrating. So thank you guys for, you know. Ah, it's Canada Day. Well, what do you say? Do you say happy Canada Day? Do you say, do you say Merry Canada? Like, what do you say? What's the, how do you, how do you celebrate, you know? I don't, I, I'm sorry. I'm not Canadian, but I will observe Canada Day. Can we, can I eat something good? That's the real question. Is there, are there like barbecues? Are there, is there a certain type of meal? I already know that you hate poutine, so you ain't gonna eat that. What do you do to celebrate Canada Day? Educate us, RJ City, please. As our, as our resident Canadian expert, oh, and you are now, since you're the one in here with the Canada Day flag, you're clearly the representative, so enlighten us. Hmm? <laughs> you just observe politely as a good Canadian does. Well, all right then. That's very nice. Well, let's all observe Canada Day for one moment. Now it seems like now it seems like someone died. I'm not sure I understand this holiday. He does. He does, Major FOMO. He talks shit about um, gravy. He... Listen, I'm not... Listen, 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 listen. Listen. I'm not here to judge a person on their foods that they like or dislike. All right? But. But. Come on. Maple syrup and waffles. Is it? Is it? Is it? I feel like... <laughs> we should observe Canada Day in the entire stream in RJ's honor. Can it just... It, it, is Canada Day just going to turn into RJ Day? <laughs> is he RJ Canada today instead of RJ City? <laughs> Uh, RJ Canada. RJ Canada is like... <laughs> I just want to know what, what outfit RJ Canada wears and how he talks. That's what I really want to see. I really want to see this. Oh, yeah! And... And... Top 5 is right. Rhonda had... The Rowdy League, she invented a wrestling league because that's basically what anyone does, right? I mean, that's really that's really all anybody does with wrestling is they're like, I have a promotion now. So she did it. They made one. They had a tournament for... Uh, there was a barbecue, which I did think was quite funny um, that, he, that RJ City was invited to a barbecue that I'm certain he would not want to eat any of the food at, okay? And he, he, <laughs> not only, <laughs> I can't even get it out now. Y'all are killing me. Um, <laughs> but he won the tournament. Sorry, I got distracted reading the comments. He won the tournament. He won it. All right. He is the champion. He's the Rowdy League champion. Do you get a belt for that? You should. You should get a belt for that. And you beat out some tough competition. Uh, I know Rhonda's sister was in there. Um, um, was it Reverend Devon or just Devon? I have no idea. I can't... I couldn't stay up late enough to watch it all. That's always my excuse. But... You wear a hockey jersey and sneeze syrup. Yes. 
Yes. I would I would pay good money to see that actually. I really would. You should you should do that. Just just once. Just a championship sarong. Well, that's nice. Then you get that somewhere else. I think you're referring to another thing. I don't think that I don't think I feel like that's not I feel like the Rowdy League it would be something farm related. You know? Like a like a championship overalls or something. Coveralls. Coveralls. Full full coveralls. You know? Well, congratulations. <laughs> Shut up, Type 5. <laughs> Shut up, Type 5. It was up. It was on late. Okay. All right. Actually, it was supposed to start like super early and then it didn't, which is also like a normal wrestling show. It really made, it really brought back a lot of memories to wrestling and it made me happy. Um, but RJ was a bit mean to Rhonda, which I was not entirely sure how I felt about. And she wasn't even in it. She was just doing commentary. And she was hosting the barbecue. You don't need to be mean to her. She'll get you a cob salad. She will. Okay? She will. She'll she'll berate you the entire time that that you're there. But she would have gotten you one. I mean, I'm sure she did, right? That's the only reason you did it. Right? I don't know. I mean, you don't have to go into details about your contract, but if you talk about it too much, it's gonna end up on the dirt sheets. Chill, chill is gonna start lurking. Oh, I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of my little, my little Jawa. Y'all don't understand that little wall he's speaking behind. It was a pain in the ass. Okay, but I'm proud of it. I'm very proud. Cool. All right. Well, let's get let's get started because I got Rimworld to play. We got the village of Narf to. Hopefully, listen, I'm just warning you guys, things are escalating. Please don't get too attached to anyone or anything. Just letting you know. Poof! Here we are. Hey, Karen Mason there with a little uh, blue behind-the-scenes tribute. Isn't that fun? Well, thanks, Karen. I do miss. I do appreciate that. Um, are we gonna open the ancient danger today? I mean, yes, we are. Right. Paws. Opossum. There's a man named Opossum walking into our town. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. Okay, just one second. Let's fix hair. Oh my god, I can't wait to get a haircut. I have an appointment. It's exciting, guys. When is it? Let me look real quick. Has my anger subsided for not knowing what the hood? I mean, it wasn't anger. It was more just like, <laughs> Ty Five was like, "What is that?" And I was like, "It's a Jawa." Like, how do you? And then she was like, "Okay, all right, okay, okay, don't get hot." And then I was like, "Yeah, but I mean, it, yeah, it's a Jawa." And there, there is a man named Opossum. Yeah, look at him right here. This man right here. Hello, sir. Hello, sir opossum. Are you a sir or a madam? Oh, you're a madam. Oh, your last name is opossum. My, well, pardon me, Miss Opossum. I'm very, I am very sorry. Uh, I did not realize. <clears throat> I thought that was your first name. Anyway. <laughs> uh, all right. 
right, look at, we got Bex and Karen up here mining. It's very nice. Karen Mason with a $10 tribute to the stream. Thank you. Praise the sun. Hell yeah. I'll do it. It's early. The sun ain't even out yet. Eh, it's coming. It's, it's approaching. After seven, it's like, it starts to, to make itself known. Uh, I don't know how much I'll get cut off. Probably a lot. Um, but my hair, even when I cut a lot off of my hair, it's still long. So. But it's far too long for what I enjoy currently. Look how messy this is over here. cleaning bot clean up a little clean up a little for us huh same here hey guys remember when I said I was gonna build a grand meditation throne room well well I am well I am oh my god you know what's funny JDG is um, RJ City has made a joke about a bob haircut all the time. Mainly because I think people accuse him of having a bob at times. But just saying a bob is like funny. No, I could literally cut like eight inches off my hair and it would it would still be long. It would still be below my sh shoulders. Like it would be, it's, I have very long hair. Longer than I like. I like long hair, I do but I don't, it's just unmanageable. Like, there's just too much. Like, yeah. I am not speeding up time yet because I'm, I'm doing a, I'm doing a perimeter check. How are we doing? Wait, did I just hear? No, that was a bob, Ty Five. That was a bob. I need to put up that, um, that, the Aztec Adventure. That picture from the magazine when I'm loading the car with my mom, and I literally have it. Like I had, I got my haircut like up to here, because what happened? What happened was, I was letting my bangs grow out. Yes, I had bangs. I was letting them grow out. Okay, um, and my bangs had gotten to like here, right? But the rest of my hair was long. And I went to get my hair cut, and it was like, yeah, you know, I'm trying to let my bangs grow out and whatever, but I want to get it cut so that it looks, it's not uh, like, because it was like, I had bangs and then like long hair. So I was like, can we like, you know, move them closer so that it's not so, well, she just cut it all off. Like she just started and I was like, ah, and it was like, well, you're committed now. And so I just had to go ahead and, and, and then, you know, it was like, it's just hair. My mom was like, it's just hair. It'll grow back. Although my mom was about to die. She was playing it cool for me. Um, my mom liked my long hair, you know, more than me. But at that point, when half of it has been lopped off, there's really nothing more you can do. And so we were just like, well, guess we're gonna, we're just gonna make the best of this now. And that's what we did. That's what we did. So I had a, I got it cut. So my bangs were like here and then I had all my hair was cut super short. It just doesn't look good on me. I'm too tall, I'm too skinny. Like it doesn't suit me. Some people can pull it off. It has, it's not even really my face. I think, I think my face is fine. Like I have a face for it. It's just, I don't, it's my body. <laughs> I do have the picture somewhere. Well, the picture is in a magazine. Um, sorry, my chair is, come on, my chair, Lord chair, what are you doing? Um, my mom will probably have to take a picture of a picture. Hmm. I'm 
gonna tweet Mary Canada today to everyone. You know, just to celebrate. I feel like Mary Canada Day is nice. Right? That's polite. <laughs> he said observe. I'm observing. I'm observing. Oh god, fire. No, we're good. Now the chair's not gonna the chair's not that feeble, guys. Okay. He's really not. It's um more of just me and how I'm sitting in it and where I want to be at that moment. I am in overalls. I had to have talked about this more than once. I am wearing I'm wearing overall shorts, which is even better. Overall shorts. A bob. And then you'll be like, oh yeah, yeah, I see it. I see why uh, you don't get short haircuts. I'll see what I can do. It's somewhere. I, I mean, I, it's definitely somewhere. All right, we sped up time because they're working on several projects and I want them to finish. Look at all my animals. What are we doing on food? Like, we have a bazillion piles of stuff to make food, but ain't nobody making the food. Oh, because everybody's worried about putting the fires out. So, I'll stop this. Queens, I don't care about you fighting fires. Stop it. I just want you to cook, Queens. Serious programmer question. What's the difference between using a gamer chair, like ones you have, versus a regular office chair? Um, honestly, I'm. I, if you're asking me, I would say that they're just comfortable and and the the quality, like the heavy dutyness of it. Like this thing, legit. Like we make jokes about it falling apart. I've had this chair for five or six years now. Five years. Five and a half years. Something like that. And I have uh, carried it across the country. Like, it has survived a few moves. Um, I drove across the country with it and it survived. Um, and I, I mean, sit in it, game in it, uh, use it regularly. And it, it, the, the worst it does is a little bit of creaking that I can't seem to remedy. It's actually not that big of a deal. Um, whereas I think some of those office chairs, they are, you know, they are not in general um, as high quality. But I think that you can definitely get some really spendy office chairs that are also super comfortable, super heavy duty. Um... And would basically accomplish the same thing. I just recommend, like, sitting in them. Like, sit in it. Feel it. Like, it's kind of like, I don't know. It's like one of those things, like, you don't want to buy without sitting in it and knowing. It's kind of like he headphones. It's kind of scary to get headphones without putting them on your head first. Because you just don't know. Uh, but... Yeah, I would say most gaming chairs, they're spendy because they're they're quality and they last a while and they're meant to be to spend a lot of time sitting in them to hold up to that. Eh? Queens, you cooking? Here. Oh, so we have this look at this cute little guy in his little war mask. What's up, little guy? What's up, little guy? Get to cooking, queens. We got all kind. We got stuff to do. Oh my god, Jamie and his sombrero is my favorite. It's my favorite. Mm, okay, now let's. Oh, 
banana tree. Where is the banana tree? It, exactly, JDG. That's that is what makes it really hard. So there are, I will say, especially for gamer chairs, there is a big market for it. Um, I'm sure you can find videos online of people doing uh, unboxings of their chairs and reviews of their chairs, uh, and that is the stuff because it is hard. It's not like you can just go to a store and sit in a nice gaming chair. Um, reading a lot of reviews and getting a lot of input in that stuff will help. Oh, look at Stacey Lynn just looking at, she's just looking at the telescope. She looks so professional with her jacket and her hard hat. I don't think any of my OGs are alive. I don't think so. Pretty sure they're all dead. Damn. See, I feel like we've not had that much death. But, like, we have. Also, these graveyards are ominous. Um, very ominous. Alright, let's look at crafting. Ooh, I need somebody, I need somebody making stuff. Nobody's making it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, did I do all the mining projects? Oh my god, they did. Okay. Delay, what's up, dude? You even slept in two days? Get some rest, man. Sweet, you can't live without sleep. It's required. You can go a while without it, but you can't last forever. So get your rest. Thanks for hanging out, Crocodile. I appreciate you, man. A prison break. A prison break. Stacey Lynn gonna get you. She gonna get you. Get him. Set both of them. Karen and... Karen and Stacey Lynn are coming to whoop his ass. Uh-uh. You ain't getting out of here. Get him. We, we built you. We put you back together. What are you doing? What are you doing? He's trying to fight this guy. Well, hey, leave Opossum alone. Opossum's a guest here, you dick. Yeah, that's right. Put him back in his cage. Get in there. What do you think this is, huh? Yeah, this guy's a, he's a bastard. He doesn't want to join us, but he's gonna. We'll break him. Don't worry. We'll break him. We will break him. What's up, Frank? Good morning. <clears throat> yep. Good. Good backs here. 
Please go back to stone cutting, Bex. Wow, I am completely full in my fridge already. Like, like you know, you cook it's a fun. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Mm -mm. Oh, Bex the stone cutter. That's what she does. That's what she does. Now, I'm gonna, I'm afraid, this is what I'm afraid of. Medical emergency, the fuck? Oh shit! Someone chopped his hand off! What the fuck? Jamie, Dr. Jamie. Oh my God, y'all. may die. I thought he just got beat up. And he's like bleeding out. Straight up bleeding out. Here. I'll actually use good medicine on him. Um, quickly, quickly now, Jamie. Quickly now, Jamie. You couldn't save Ty 5, but save this prisoner. Yeah, he's good. Look at that! Right hand. Destroyed. It's gone. Do we have a fake hand I can throw on there? Install. Well, I could give him the whole arm, but I'm sorry, you're not getting my bionic arm. We're researching bionics right now. We'll make him a hand. Someone chopped his hand off. So, I don't know. I don't know how that happened, but. But we're gonna fix him. Don't worry. We are gonna fix him. Fix his little red wagon. Just you wait and see. Just you wait and see. Oh, look at the braziers. They're amazing. That's right. That's right. We are building a grand meditation throne room. It's grand. And yes. Oh god, this actually being off center drives is driving me insane. Three. Oh my god, I will have to fix this. I'm gonna have to fix this. Actually, I'm not sure that I can. No! Construct these. We can't be having it. The door, the entryway is wrong. It's wrong! Um. But is this. What do we got? Eight. Nine. God damn it. I hate when shit is like off center. That's what I'm gonna have to do. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to do that. And then I think it'll be fine. I'm sorry guys, the Grand Meditation Throne Room has to be perfect. If it ain't perfect, we're, we're rebuilding it. Do you understand? 
and then these can go, but I think, yeah, like eight and eight on each side. Yeah. Eight and eight, perfect. And then these, and then I'll have to put a, I'll have to put a small door right there. So actually this can stay, but these need to go. Yeah. I wanted to do a big fancy door, but we can't do that. Fix his little red wagon. That's a, I'm, that's a thing my mom always would say. That's not what I made up. But I definitely have to give my mom credit for that one. What's up, Matt? Get it. Cook the food. See, Sam A's heard his mom say it too. Oh yes, and thank you Dixie for showing Matt the new Lurk emote. For all the people that are just now joining us, we do have a new emote that you can use to to let us know when you're going to be lurking. I think he's quite cute. Jawas are very lurky creatures anyway. Who's in Ty Five's room now? Nobody. The sad blue room belongs to no one now. I'm trying to give it to this guy, but I'm going to put it. I'm going to have to put a new hand on him. Uh, Karen is inspired. That's nice. Well, you get to work then, Karen. Rebecca's here being um, being obstinate already. It's a fine. It is a fine. Hmm. Eh, eh, eh. Stacy Lynn needs a treatment. Why? Oh, her. See, it freaks me out. The, I love the five finger fillet table. I think it's hilarious. But they keep getting little cuts on their fingers, and it freaks me out because it's like, oh, a medical emergency. And I'm like, what? I'm like, it's not quite an emergency, okay? Not quite. I like I already had to adjust the the building. Cause I'm like, nope, not gonna nope. Batista. Batista. are good come on guys keep working we got a we got a meditation throne room to build come on actually Bex I want you to go back to making cutting stone that's your job for now that's your job Frank Zagati says it's a fine and it is a fine uh, speaking of it's a fine guys I finally got my shirts um the ones that I have been waiting on with the tweaks made and I will be uploading them soon to ProWrestlingTees.com so if you enjoy It's a Fine or if you enjoy canoodling, I believe you'll enjoy the new shirts that I have arriving. So please, <clears throat> please. And good timing, there's a sale coming up. So, which I really, I didn't want to wait. I really was like, I told the guy, I was like, you got to get it to me before the sale because I want people to be able to get it during the sale. Um, for real. Especially because I mean, I've been talking about it for so long. Like, which he's great. Don't get me wrong. Like, I completely understand. And he did. And I got them. And they're great. And I love them. So I can't wait for y'all to see them. 
at least two um, new shirts, and I think you'll appreciate them. You gotta keep making stone so we can keep building new shit. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Grand Meditation Throne Room. Why haven't we started working on the throne, goddammit? Dixie! Dixie cannot wait to get all the merch. Well, I am gonna make you wait a little bit longer, but not too much longer. And then you'll be able to get all you want. You know, and it will be a fine. I do feel glad. I think it's a fine. is such a good. It's, it's such a good. Like you want to talk about being positive. I'm like it's good. It's not like I don't know. I think if we need. I think the world needs more. It's a fine. Oh God, Frank, that is so old and. That was the old school UFC brand clothing, which does not exist anymore. Um, those those do not exist. The only place you'll find those those breaking arm ones are probably deep in the closets of any of us that were on the show. I'm not sure I have mine anymore. If I do, it's because I, I tried to like grab at least one of a lot of the shirts and different stuff that I liked from the show, and I gave it to my mom. So I have like, my mom has like a trunk, right, at the house, at her house, for like my stuff. So any of my stuff from any of my fighting, any of my wrestling, any, basically anything I've done, um, and she puts them in this trunk, and I, I, I did get a lot of the clothes, but I am not sure I got that one. is crashing into a transport pod nearby. Oh! Oh no! He's all hurt. Okay, okay, we gotta save him. We gotta save him. Jamie, go save him. Go, go. Go save him. Get him. Get the fine. Listen, tropical rainforests are not made for arctic doggos, but we're still gonna try and save him because we need to. We gotta save him. We gotta save him. Oh, good man, Jamie. Good man. Oh, Type five. Oh shit! I was just getting ready to click Type five and tell her to go research, but guess what? Type five is dead, which is why the research has stopped. That is so sad. All right, who we got? Queens can do it. Uh, Jamie, but Jamie's busy. I'm sorry. Batista can do it. That's good. We'll put Batista on it. That way, when he's not building, he can go back to researching. See, Ty5, we'll, we'll get your jobs covered. Don't worry. All right, Allegra. Oh, no. He's about to bleed out. We got to save him. We got to save him. Come on. Come on. You alright? There you go. Got him. Saving him. I think he's good. I think he's real good, good, good. Let's see what this is. Yeah. 
Vex, go back to cutting stone. I didn't say you could. I didn't say you were done. You're not allowed to mine right now. Well, we'll see. He may or may not join us. Allegra is a funny name for an animal, though. Allegra. Allegra. Sometimes I'm just, I want to know how they come up with the, the names. Oh my god. Remember when I built... Or not when I built, but when a meteor shower almost smashed into my entire treasure vault. That would have been bad. <clears throat> that would have been real bad. Karen Mason with a bright citrusy tribute of uh, just praising the sun, but also my t-shirt. So thank you, Karen. I am quite a fan of, uh, of this one, actually. I don't know if you can see it. But it says, and then there's God. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. The colors, you know. Ooh, we have a caravan here. Hmm, you come to trade with me. Are you impressed by my meditation throne room? You should be. You definitely should be. That's right. That's right. Start repairing everything. Get to it. You're doing great, Jamie. You're doing great with your little sombrero on. He likes it. He likes the sombrero. Queens, go talk to them. We need to trade with these people. There we go. Do you want to buy some animals? I have a bazillion animals and I would like to perhaps trade some of them with you. Well, I don't, I don't need another baby male goat, but I also don't need the the female pigs either. I mean, the pigs, it doesn't really matter. It's just the females keep getting pregnant. So I try to have less of them, you know? At least as far as the pigs go. The yaks, same with the yaks. Like the males, I don't need as many of because they don't produce milk. So they're still good to eat. But right now, like, I have so much food and, like, I'm good. And I don't, I'm obviously not going to eat the babies. So we're selling them to somewhere nice. Okay? They'll, they'll, they're going to do nothing but good stuff with them, guys. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. Uh, good lord. So much. What do you have that I can buy? They've got cows. Not we we don't need those. We have yaks. We have yaks. I can buy what do you have? What do you have that I want? Nothing. You got literally nothing. Green chitin, that's nice. Um, let's see. An advanced another advanced bionic arm. Oh wait, that's mine. God dang it. This guy's literally nothing that I want. So I'm, I'm actually gonna have to sell him less animals because I can't, like he doesn't even have components, he doesn't even have materials, he doesn't have anything I can buy. I'm literally just selling stuff to him, but he doesn't even have enough money to buy what I just sold him, so I have to like make it less. Um, there. Which is good, I'm still getting rid of like, 10 animals, like, which is important. I need them to not get out of control. 
What up, Apple Wolf? Oh. Stream Doge. Stream Doge says uh, good morning as well. Look at him. Look how cute he is. We just rescued. We just rescued an Arctic wolf, Alpha. I think you'll. I think you'll be. Uh, be be pleased. I don't know if he's gonna join us, but we did rescue him. He crashed. Someone sent him in a little pod. It was sad. All right. Except take these baby animals. They're yours now. They are yours. Look at them. There you go. Well, that's adorable. Now let's look at who's doing what, who's where, who's doing what. Set people to more, do more training. Training. It's really hard to keep up with all the training without too many people um, doing animal training. Got you. You're good. You good, 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 good. Okay. Thank you for buying my baby animals. Yeah. Oh, look at them. They're so cute. Hell yeah, we got the lurk emote. Look at little, look at Allegra. Oh. Doing all right, just resting. Just resting. We're good. <gasps> Sleazy Wheezy has developed a health condition. Heart attack. Oh my God, guys. Oh my god! Sleazy's having a heart attack! <laughs> Jamie Cypher. <laughs> oh no! What's happening? Oh no! Okay, they're res they're rescuing her and then we're gonna we're gonna put her get her pig, get her pig, get her pig, get her pig. Alright. Jamie! Go save her. Wait. Get her. She's having a heart attack. <laughs> That's what I asked. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can we save her? I don't know if we can. She might be dying. This might be it. Treatment failed. Do it again, Jamie. Here, give her the good meds. Try it again. Come on. Come on, Sleazy. We're gonna give you the good medicine. You'll be all right. Come on. Oh, it's painful, it says. Oh, no. Ah! Oh, we saved her. We saved Sleazy Wheezy. Oh, she still has major asthma, and she's pregnant, and she's got cataracts in both eyes. Damn, Sleazy been through some shit. Guys, it's a fine. Sleazy Weezy is, Sleazy the Whack is fine. And look, Allegra. Oh, what the fuck? Bleeding out again? Why? Uh, I'm sorry, Panther, what? Why are you hunting this guy? Stop. Oh no, the pan- Oh my god, stop it! The panther's attacking her! What the fuck? Why? No! No, I can't look at it! Why? No! Jamie, save her! What the fuck? One of RJ Kitty's kitties did that! Why? Not welcome? I don't understand. Well, that's probably... Probably not a good idea to have a colony full of panthers and a wolf. You know? But... Damn! 
Man. No, no, we protect we protect the RJ kitties at all costs. Uh, it's really unfortunate about the about that, but he that was just bizarre. Well, whatever, I guess. Mr. Perfect is one of them, yes. I need this guy to join us. We need more people. Karen, too, is set to do several different things. Mining is by far her favorite. By far. Sle Sleazy the Whack had a <clears throat> had a uh, had a heart attack, but Jamie saved him. Her saved her. That's what having seven hundred yak babies will do to you. You know. You know we're gonna send them away. I don't. I don't think right now is a good. Just sleazy having a heart attack is just like it's too funny. And cataracts and asthma. I don't know how sleazy, sleazy Wheezy has survived this long. Wheezy's alive, yeah. Wheezy, we saved Wheezy. The the panthers killed that Arctic wolf I was trying to save. Now, granted, like an Arctic wolf is not really meant. Like this is not really the environment for an Arctic wolf. But still, they didn't have to murder him. <laughs> Goodbye, trade caravan. That was useless. Uh, Brian, I need you to finish this. Black jacket when you get a chance, man. Bex, go back to cutting stone. This is what you do now. Good morning, Al. How are you? And cargo pods with what in them? Anything good? Bison wool and sheep wool. N not really anything that does me any good. Nope. Not really any good. The fact that she's still alive is a miracle, for sure. Uh, it and it took twice to um, to heal her. The first one failed. 
So it's like, it's funny, because it's like, that can happen to pawns too. They can straight up just have a heart attack and die. Um, all my animals are losing their, their uh, skills because no one is training them. So we don't have to, we have to step it up. Stacy Lynn, I know you got a lot on your plate, okay? But animal tending is now your sole purpose in life, you understand? Sole purpose. You got it. The animals are losing their their skills, and it's because I'm not training them often enough. There's way too many freaking pigs. Way too many. Like these guys can't do shit yet. So we're gonna. Get to cooking. Oh my god, he's building it. He's building it! Yes! Build the Grand Meditation Throne. It's Jade. I've been waiting for something to use all this Jade for, you guys. I can't wait. This slate, we need to haul this shit. Get that out of here. I love having worker pigs, but we got too many of them. It's the goats, man. But to be fair, we got this one. Male goat, that's it. The others are all like all females, which are good. They give they have they provide milk, which I I like having. Okay. Yum. Bacon. I feel like when Stacy Lynn finds out what has happened so far today, she's... <laughs> Sleazy had a heart attack. The... The Arctic Wolf that Ar the RJ Kitties did not want involved. Like, okay. I mean, I guess that's a fine. Queens. Queens, before you rest, I'm gonna need you to butcher. I'm gonna need you to butcher these, these piggies. Pig, 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 piggies? You know what I'm gonna need to do though? I might have to actually do. I kinda need, I wanna expand my kitchen even more. Believe it or not. How does it not have any more meat than that? Just really? That's it? Yeah, we do need more kibble. Can you work on that, please? Queens. Wait, 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 wait. I said no meat. Oh, 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 sorry. She's making the fine meals. I see, I see, I see. Sounds good, Top Five. Lurk, lurk away. With your bleep bloop. Take your bleep bloop. I am so warm from my coffee and my hoodie and my everything, so.
This fridge is quite cold. Um, queens. There. You may go rest now, queens. You've done your you've done your job. later and have to get it out again but it's constant temperature control guys <laughs> hey 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 who said who said you could eat that huh how many acts we got 17 Pigs? How many pigs we got? 39? 39 pigs is too many, guys. So, we're gonna have to do something about that. Alright, we're just gonna have, we have to do something about that. You see, it's just not gonna work. Alright? It's just, it's not. You can live because you're not fully grown yet. Yeah. yeah. The worker pigs are great. One, you have to train them though. Okay, it doesn't not, not like they can just become worker pigs. You have to train them. And if I have 87,000 animals, then I can't train them, even with like two dedicated animal trainers. So we gotta thin the the, the pig the pig herd out. Also, there wasn't a ton of pork in those pigs. Defensive turret here. Um. Yes, Jamie. Work on the grand meditation throne room. Do it. Do it. Do it for all of us. Because we need to meditate in a grand fashion. <laughs> you know, I actually don't like... Um, flavored coffee, like not necessarily like coffee creamer, coffee creamer or stuff you put in coffees, whatever, it's fine. Um, that's just a mood. But as far as like straight up just flavored coffee, I'm not a real fan. I don't like, it's like, oh, it's black coffee, but it's flavored a certain way. I'm like, it just never, I don't know. It doesn't do it for me. The only thing I like mixed into my coffee really truly is the Bulletproof mix. Um, Dixie, Dixie, that is a hot pink. Uh, 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 um, excuse me, Dixie? Are we praising the great pink sun, everyone? Huh? Huh? Dixie, dang, man. That is, uh, uh, well. Well, uh, mm, 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 uh, mm, mm, uh, thank you, Dixie. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Uh, an animal, what? What? A crate with a casteroids called Pookie? What the hell is this? Is that a giant 
beaver creature. Alright, I'm gonna rescue this guy, but y'all better not kill Pookie. Dixie, thank you so much. Listen, if I save Pookie and I can, um... Let me just make sure I can save Pookie, alright? Let's just... Okay, Bex, what the hell's wrong with you? Oh, you're fine. Dixie, you are so uh, generous and I appreciate it so much. Thank you for supporting the stream and for supporting me. I'm just here, <clears throat> okay? I, I, I'm just here. If this makes your mornings better, that's, 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 uh, you are in a place to be able to, like, to turn whatever this is into something good and positive for you, Dixie. So, I'm just here doing this. You, you, you're awesome, Dixie, and I honestly can't thank you enough for all the support you showed me in the stream. And I know the chat room appreciates it, too. It looks hot pink to me. Maybe my, maybe my monitor is just wonky, which is also possible. The Merlot sun. Almost praise it because that's what we do that's what we do around here feels good it really does feel good try it there's a reason there's a reason that when people cheer they do this because like it feels good it, it, it's the same it is the same exact thing that when you're like oh and you smile and it makes you know happy things go to your brain it's the same thing with raising your hands up above your head why do you think this is so catchy hmm How's the kibble doing here? We good? It's GTA Vice City Pink, very much so. That I agree with. Definitely. Michael, we have a lurk emote now. But also, I'm glad uh, that you're here. Glad you're hanging out. Thanks for staying. Thanks for staying uh, tuned in, even when you guys can't really pay attention. It's very nice, and I appreciate it. And y'all give me a lot of watch time. And thank you. Thank you very much. All right, CM Pep, I'm about to be able to let you. You can go now. You've done well with all the kibble and everything. It's great. Good job. Good job. Now go rest. Eat your lavish meal. And go back to cooking. Please. How's this guy? How's this guy coming along, huh? Ooh, his resistance is almost gone entirely. Soon. Very soon he will join us. We'll give him tie Five's room. What? Somebody needs to be in it. It's nice. We shouldn't just leave it. Okay. Hey, did somebody save Pookie? I don't know if they did. Oh, poor Pookie. He's so cute. What is he? Long extinct giant mammals. Giant beavers, the largest to ever exist. They're in, its incisors aren't well fitted for cutting wood as those of its modern equivalents, which is why it doesn't bother with constructing dams. This makes it so... It will more often have to resort to either running from predators or attempting to fight them off instead of simply hiding from them. A big ass beaver. He does look pretty big. Pretty big. Pretty big. Look at them all eating the grass. Nom 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 nom
What's garden bot set on? Hmm. Oh, garden bot, you're supposed to be set to all kind. Of, you're supposed to be set to way more than this. There you go. You can go. You can go into the home. All into the home area. Hauling bot, you also can go into the home area. I trust you too. I trust you, bots. Oh my God, Jamie's almost done with the meditation. But listen, we've got a wall to replace here. We've got a lot of work to do still. All right. Look, look, please be good quality. Please don't be shit quality, Jamie. Please, 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 please be good. Please be good. Please. It's good. I'll take it. Set the owner. Well, oh, Queens. It belongs to Queens. Uh, it isn't, oh, well. It's like, must be placed indoors. It's because there's a big hole in the wall. We're not done yet, okay? We're getting there. It's coming along nicely. Just be patient. Oh shit, this needs to be, oop. Rescued animals don't join! You bastard, Pookie! What are you doing? Pookie? Pookie, where you go? Fine, Pookie. Fine. Go out on your own then. Go on out on your own then, Pookie. See if we see if we even care. Hmm? Hmm? So, Gianni, uh, just so you're aware, and this is aware for everyone, uh, the badges you can change if you're not a fan of the uh, classic colored OK tank upgrading from your blue. You can go back to blue. It's totally fine. Um, and as you keep getting the different colors, you basically can you can wear whatever color badge you want. You just unlock it. You're not stuck with it. That is one thing I really like. Look at this grand meditation throne. I cannot wait. This is good, good stuff. We need more slate blocks and then Ah, uh, yes. Uh, thank you, uh, Batista. Granite. Slate. A wolf with a with a, also what did we decide I can't I'm saying hot pink it looks like peen on hot I'm sorry what did I just come what did just come out of my mouth let's restart let's start that over again uh alpha wolf thank you very much I shall praise the great hot pink sun see y'all got me all tore up questioning the colors damn dude I am extremely happy um, to have you in the stream, hanging out every day, you're, you're, I can't thank you enough, dude. Thank you. Listen, if I can get this guy to break and join, I will, I shall name him Alpha Wolf. And we shall see. He looks, he's, he looks like an Alpha Wolf. Look at him. Look at him with his mask on. We'll see. He's breaking. We'll break him. Don't you worry. Um, but... Thank you, Alpha Wolf. I do not really know what to say when you guys are so incredibly generous here on the stream. I just don't know what to say. Besides thank you, which I am insisting on saying repeatedly. So, thank you. Now, I need to take out some more of these pigs because... Well, because, just because, okay? Um, just because. But look, all of these are like so good. These are all so good, they're all so good. Like, I hate, I hate it when they are so useful, man. 
don't be so useful then. Pookie is my mom's mini poodles. Damn it, he acts just like the beaver. A bastard, he just, look at him. Look at him, he don't wanna join. He don't want to join, but he's just going to hang out out here. I wonder if I, well, I'll set him to tame. I doubt anyone will have the time to tame him with a bazillion other um, animals to take care of first, but we'll still try. We'll still try. Come on, Bex. You gotta go back to cutting stone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because Batista needs more to... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. To keep building these traps. Jamie, too. We gotta, get, we gotta get Jamie back building. Ah, yes, everyone is working now. Everyone is working. Good, good. Never trust an animal named Pookie. <sighs> Pookie. It's true. Just sounds like, oh, you're gonna be, you're gonna be an asshole. Pookie. I had a cat named Pumpkin once. Like my little pumpkin. Not pumpkin. Okay. My niece, my niece was like a baby. And she would say, oh, pumpkin. And I would be like, no, pumpkin. Pumpkin. It's pumpkin. She said, yeah, pumpkin. And I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> it's not pumpkin. It's pumpkin. It's different. Get it right. She's like four. <laughs> it's a fun. Mm, more animals are losing their fighting ability. It's a fun. It's a fun. Good Lord. Have mercy on us all. It's too much. They're too much. I'm sorry, pigs. I'm sorry. That's right. I'm clearing out a bunch of them, guys. I'm sorry. We got to clear out a lot of the pigs. Stacy Lynn's handling business. Thank you, Stacy Lynn. Thank you. Oh God, no! The engine danger is not open at all. I'm dealing. I, I have so many other more pressing issues. <laughs> Don't you see this grand meditation throne room I'm trying to build? Hey, Bex, how are those stones coming along? Mm. There we go. Now Jamie should be able to finish what he was doing. Queens. Ooh, CM Pep has inspired taming. Well, good. She can work on all these animals. Michael's lurking still. I'll allow it because we have an emote now. right there. You don't need to worry about anything else. There we go. There we go. Now let's see. Pig 
pigs. How many pigs we got now? Eh, 24 is better. 26, okay. That's more reasonable, all right? That's more reasonable. Yes, Michael, spelled exactly like that, okay? It was pumpkin, and I loved her very much. Jamie, you're resting now, but uh, tomorrow I'm gonna make you to finish out this throne room! Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to, uh... Yeah, I don't, like, guys, 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 guys. I, I like, um, managed risk. Okay? Also, I really, it's probably more important that I get this guy broken and join the colony first and like with a weapon because Time 5 was also one of my shooters. She was one of my good shots. So losing her is like rough, really rough. Also, why, Karen, why don't you have your axe? Karen, where's your axe? Actually, you know what? I might give her this war hammer. Whoa, hammer. Um, yeah, let's give her that. It makes them, it makes it easier to capture people if they have blunt injuries as opposed to, you know, cut all to pieces with the other, so. There you go. There you go, Karen. Major break, major break. Who's about to break? Queens? Queens! Stop what you're doing. There you go. She's like, I can't stop cooking! I've had a couple of uh, less threatening events, though. With like these animals and their random, these random animals that fall out of the sky. I'm like, okay, I'll take that over mechanoids, I guess, attacking the colony. Gatling gun turret? I'm sorry, what? Needs to be manned in order to operate. Holy shit. Okay. A chem fuel barrel. Ooh! That'd be fun. That'd be real fun. Searchlight? That's funny. There's so many cool things you can do. Sounds good, Gianni. You got to, Sometimes you just gotta you, gotta... you gotta handle what's right in front of you, Gianni. And I completely understand. The stream will be here, don't you worry. I'm gonna ready to take a real quick break and refresh my coffee cup. So, never fear, dude. Thank you, as always, for hanging out as long as you can. I'm sorry. Pookie has joined us now? I must have tamed... Y'all, we tamed Pookie. Now I don't trust Pookie. Now I don't know, now I don't know how I feel about it. Well, whatever. Pookie has joined us, I guess. We'll see. Wow, Pookie, wow. Okay. Well, I guess you're you've joined us now, Pookie, I guess. I guess I guess I guess. Mm, nope. Nope. 
See all these babies that were born? Like, I just, good lord. It's like I cannot, I can't catch a break from them. It's never ending. It's never ending. How's this guy? Social. His resistance is almost completely gone. So we need him to go ahead and join us now. Alright guys, give me just like five minutes. Let me refill my coffee cup. Ooh, my eyes are about to water. Woo! Um, what's that? And yeah. Listen, we're gonna break this guy. We're gonna hit him to join us. We're gonna outfit him. We have an ancient danger. There's probably nothing in there. Probably nothing. Or something that would kill everything. We'll see. One of the two, okay? We'll figure it out momentarily, but in the meantime, I need fresh coffee. Our food problem is taken care of. We're good on food. We're good. We're good. We have too much of it, in fact. So, um, real quick, guys. Pay the tax if you haven't yet. It looks like everybody has, but just a gentle reminder if you have arrived recently or if you're new around here, the tax is, of course, a like on it. And that's all I ask. Once you do that, you can watch Guilt Free as long as you want. The entire six hour stream, that's completely fine. It is completely a fine. Um, so, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.
Okay. I feel refreshed. I had fresh coffee and it is nice. Guys, this is maybe some of the best coffee I've made uh, in a while in my French press. Just so good. and Like the Bulletproof is whatever. It tastes like Bulletproof. It tastes like the stuff. I don't, I, it does taste good, don't get me wrong, but I drink it because of the good stuff in it. Not necessarily like, this is so delicious. That is delicious. Just good coffee. Not too strong right now. And it's Death Wish, which is really easy to make too strong. Not like, whatever, bitter. Coffee can be really strong, caffeine-wise, like pack a really strong punch and not taste horrible. Contrary to popular belief. Look at Jamie building traps. Brian Clark, what are you up to these days? What are, what are you doing? What do you do, Ryan Clark, around here? Hmm? Man! Ryan Clark, you can cook. Why aren't you cooking more? You also craft. Hmm. Let's look at him. Oh! He's set to number one on childcare. We don't have any babies, because nobody really gets along. <laughs> I do find that really funny about NARP, that there's like... Not very... <laughs> there's not very many relationships. And that's, that is not really always the case in RimWorld. I've had them where like, they like... Like, the, the, the pawns will absolutely like, fall in love, like, want to live together, do stuff together, they will fight. They will, it's, they'll canoodle. Like, there, there's a lot going on. But not in this village. Not in, there's al always way more fighting than anything else. <laughs> Look at Pookie just chilling. What's up? A stomach destroyed. What did, what happened? A body part is entirely missing. What? Do you like a sweet coffee? Yeah, like I'll get a uh, iced coffee from Starbucks sometimes, Dixie, and get like a vanilla sweet cream cold brew, like some sort of flavored cold brew, something sweet. But that's when I'm craving something really sweet and like sugary. Like that's, it's like more of a treat and not like, I don't know. I mean, I, I, will, I will drink coffee every day for the rest of my life. What, what? Hello. Yes, I, I'm, I'm, oh, 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 the prisoners, all right. The prisoner, uh, whatever his name is, his resistance has been broken. So now he should recruit pretty easily because Queens is like really good at talking. Her skill is really high. So he should break like in the next one or two tries, which is good. And we're gonna name him Alpha Wolf. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be very nice. Never trust up. Never trust up, okay? Yeah, what? Is, something horrible is gonna happen with Pookie. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous. Now I'm like, maybe I shouldn't have tamed him. Maybe I should have let him go. Mm, mm, mm. Well, guess we're gonna find out. See, don't tell me I don't take risks. Just, <laughs> my time has come. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. Um, he's not joined yet, but we're going to set him to recruit. But it's a pretty low chance, so it may not. 
She'll get him. It shouldn't take too long. Let's look at his let's look at his stats again. Like he's not <laughs> Oh damn! He's seven! He's seven! He's seven! And we cut his hand off. Whoops. Um Oh my god, I didn't even notice that he was a kid. Age seven. And his childhood is Rimworld Child. Not Nalurvaga. <laughs> uh, he was born and raised on a Rimworld in the outer reaches of the galaxy. Okay. Okay. That's it. That's literally it. And it's on whatever Rimworld we are on right now, which is... Who knows? I haven't even... Oh my god. So, so, what's great is, so the reason all the skills are low is, like, these backstories give you bonuses, right? Like, pluses or minuses to certain skills, or takes them away, whatever. It does, does the stuff to the characters, and I was like, oh, his stuff is all really low. But then when I looked over to his childhood, I saw there's no adulthood. Like, Queens, look, childhood is this, adulthood is this. And see, all her skills are really high, like... At least three. Intellectual, social, and cooking are all pretty high. And her melee is good. So, and capable of nothing, so she can do everything, which is really nice. The downside, body purist? That's why I can't give her a new, or a new arm. Or I won't. I could. But it would make her unhappy. And she's already, because she's neurotic. See? Neurotic here. It says, Queen's likes to have things squared away. She will work harder than most to attain this state of affairs but her nerves can get the better of her. That's why she's always in a shit mood. Like, you notice, like, certain characters, they're more, they have more tendencies, and, like, there's always reasons why in this game. So it's important, like, sometimes I forget to, like, really look at them and, like, whatever, when I consider, like, who I'm keeping or who I want to convert. But I did not even notice that this guy was only a kid, age seven. So. No, I do not want that. Go away. Um. Yeah. Yep. But, look at this. Traits. Staggeringly ugly. He is staggeringly ugly. His face looks like a cross between a drawing by an untalented child. <laughs> A malformed fetus and a jar of formaldehyde. And a piece of modern art. Others must exert conscious effort to look at him while conversing. That is horrible. He is an ugly child. <laughs> but, hilariously, his other trait is optimist, which is great. Um, he is naturally optimistic about life. It's really hard to get him down. So unlike Queens, he'll always be in a good mood. And so he'll always be down to do stuff. And like, he has a passion for shooting. I'll be able to make him a really good fighter. So he's got a passion for mining, crafting, and intellectual. All like really useful, really useful. So he'll learn those skills faster. The ones with the little flames, they learn faster. The bigger flames, even faster. But because he's incapable of nothing, I can, I could, technically make him do any of the jobs. He just might do them shitty for a while. And they learn them slower. That's what I'm doing with Karen in mining. She doesn't... Look. She doesn't... Um, she only has a burning passion for melee fighting. That's it. That's it. Everything else, she's just like, whatever about. But mining, she's that's her best skill now. Because I make her do it so much. But she loves it. She seems to really like it. Even when I have her set to do anything, like on her um, schedule, she still does it. So she likes mining. She fucking loves mining. That I know. The music is getting scary? Maybe. It sounds a little... I mean, maybe not this one in particular, but like there are some tracks on this that definitely have a more ominous tone. Like this is like... 
Um, well, this is great. We're gonna, he was a child incredibly hard to break his resistance. Like he did not want to talk about potentially staying and joining the colony. Imagine that, that his tribe attacked us. They were trying to attack us. So this kid survived and we're like, you're living with us now. And he's like, nope. It's been like weeks, weeks and weeks and weeks. It took forever. Um, Bex broke way sooner. I believe Bex uh, did. I can't, it doesn't, there may be a way to check now. Oh shit, where'd you go? Um, but. Good lord. Burning passions for a couple, like, two skills, which is crazy. But and she's incapable of, like, a lot of stuff. If, like, like, Vex would do no good. Like, if, if you go, if you made a caravan and went somewhere, and, like, somebody got shot, she would just be, like, like, just no, like, okay. Well, anyway, let's... Make sure he's set to recruit. Yes. Ah, oh, good morning, Stacy Lynn. How are you? Um, listen, Sleazy, Sleazy Weezy had a heart attack this morning, Stacy Lynn. But we saved her. She is a fine. We have nothing to worry about. She does have cataracts in both eyes. I think that's new. Um. <laughs> But we saved her from the heart attack. There's been several animals falling out of transport pods today. I don't know. It's like raining animals. There must have been like an animal ship that flew by. You know what I mean? And they, they lost a few. Because also this Pookie. Look at this. Pookie. Pookie, Pookie, Pookie. But Pookie has a... Wait, I thought her... Yeah. Well, whatever. Left eye scratch. It wasn't her stomach destroyed or something? Maybe we fixed it. I have no idea. Or it doesn't matter. Maybe she's got multiple stomachs. Who knows? Yeah, we got the lurk emote now. He's cute. He's a little Jawa. And I made him 8-bit and I built that little wall, which was way more work than I want to admit. So... But I am, I do think he's adorable. It's right. <laughs> yes, not as catchy as uh, the other, but maybe, maybe. Yeah, there was an Arctic wolf that we saved named Allegra and Saved her, Jamie like patched her up, she was good, she was just sleeping, they're resting, and then one of the RJ kitties just like lost its shit and attacked him. I don't know why. I'm assuming it's because he was a wolf and they're cats and they don't get along. And these cats were like, mm. So that happened. And then Pookie, this this beaver, this giant beaver. Look at this giant wait, where are you at? I can't even click there. Help. This giant beaver. This guy. These giant beavers, largest to ever exist, blah, blah, blah. They don't build dams. But we saved him. We saved him and then Pookie was like, nah, I ain't joining. And then wandered outside the wall, hung out right here. Okay? And I set him to tame. And I was like, he probably won't get tamed because we have too many animals. They won't make time to get out there. And then all of a sudden I just look and like Pookie's in, Pookie's in the barn. And, and has joined us. So I must have missed the notification, but like, so I'm like, I don't know if I trust Pookie. Also, um, <laughs> Alpha Wolf has been insisting that you don't, you don't, I don't remember who's who has the poodle, but somebody has a poodle in their evil named Pookie, so. So yeah, we got Pookie, I'm a little worried. We had to, we made a lot of bacon. That was the other thing, Stacey Lynn, that I actually said. I was like, ooh, I hope, 
I hope she gets to see this because uh, we've been eating a lot of bacon. We had almost 40 pigs. And even though a lot of them can do stuff, they they I don't need them. I don't need that many to get the jobs done that I have here. Like, look at these elephants. So we made a lot of bacon. They were eating up too much. They were just, there was too many of them. There's too many of them. We needed to thin the herd a little bit. No, your mom's dog. That's right, that's right, that's right. Pokey. Pokey, I just, I just don't want the future to be like, Pokey, no! Pokey, no! <laughs> Nothing horrible's happening. It's always the worst when the, the bonded animals snap. It's like a punishment. It, it, it really is. In, li in this game, it's like, I guess in life, too. Um, which is funny, but, I mean, not really funny. Anyway, the bonded animals, when the, the, the person that they are bonded to dies, the animals snap and start just attacking whatever they see. So it really does almost always end in these tragic stories of like, uh, uh. It's the worst. It's the worst when like one of your beloved animals is just like going insane inside. Your poor little defenseless pawns are like, oh God, yep. Man, remember when Terra murdered the entire colony? It was just like, that was it. One clean sweep. Like, we went for the longest time, and then just one day, like, Terra snapped because the base was dirty and murdered everyone. Everyone. My next playthrough, I'm definitely picking a biome where there's snow. That I know for sure. Pookie is slang. I've never heard of Pookie as slang. It is. It sound to me. It sounds like a fake pet name. Like a pet. It's it's. It would be like what someone would say, but like no one actually uses it. Not seriously. At least maybe maybe they do. What's wrong with you, Batista? Hmm? Psycho. You're a psycho! Ooh, well, good. I mean, not necessarily, but sometimes, like, Karen is also a psychopath. See? And so when you need people that, um... I don't know, like, have to bury the, or burn, burn the, the invaders' bodies, like, when we get raided. Like, you burn, you have to burn the bodies now, because I was running out of space to bury them. And it's just morbid. I don't like the little graveyard corner over here. I don't. Like, I want to move these, the, 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 the sarcophagi for, for our actual colonists. They get better burials. It also makes the other colonists happy when you do that. Because um, it's their friends and stuff, you know? It's one thing to cremate the guy that invaded the colony and tried to kill everyone. But, like, but, yeah, so I wanna, I'm want i thinking maybe over here, because I'm, I'm mining this. Well, I need to keep doing it. Mining the strips out of this so that I can start to maybe build, like, a crypt or something. The longest in the crypt. Remember that? Classic. Cody and Jitterbug are a fine. They are a fine. Man, I gotta tell RJ City he got a bunch of panther babies to name. Bunches of them. I love I love that his contribution to the colony is <laughs> is naming all the cats. That I enjoy a lot. <laughs> Because his cat, his cat names are good. Okay, they really are. It took a few tries to get an RJ Kitty that stuck, but once once we got once we got this one, he's good. How old is RJ Kitty now? Let's find out. Let's look. What you doing, RJ Kitty? Hmm? Just wandering around. All right. Training. Let's look at you. Follow a master while drafted. No. See, I don't like him. I don't put like putting him in danger. Like, I don't like him to be. I don't want him to be like one of the ones they ride into battle. His job 
is to lounge around the colony and 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 worry about RJ kitties and canoodling. That's it. That's his job. Okay? But I do say if the master is doing field work that he can follow her around. But he doesn't. He like never does. Every now and then, but that's it. But he's fully trained on all, everything. And he is uh, 12 years old. Is that old for a cat? I don't know. Not a, I mean a panther cat. A, pan, a panther cat. <laughs> uh, that's funny. RJ Kitty and Ethel Perman getting busy they are they do now ethel perman i'm pretty sure has like gone out into battle a few times let me see she's pregnant right now holy shit and she's 11 that's hilarious um look at this son daughter 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 son grandson granddaughter grand <laughs> mr perfect is her grandson Wait, wait, let's, I didn't know this was a tab. Where's, where's RJ Kitty? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> All of them. How are they both a son and a grandson? most part I think it's a it's a decent ratio it's definitely getting better the, the gentle encouraging of, of you know paying the taxes does seem to work so Ryan Clark what you doing man wasn't I gonna, wasn't that what started all of this is I was trying I was gonna work on his scheduling because it's like he can do a lot and I feel like he ain't like harvesting is it I mean Yes, the garden, but I don't know that I need him on that right now. Not with the bot, and then also Bex. Bex also was doing a lot of gardening. Carefully, all it's a storm. Honestly, I should make a zone, a zoning, as like whatever. Um, that when it's a storm, I make all the animals go inside and all the uh, people, for the most part, stay inside. Or at least, like, stay more indoors, because, like, legit on this map, I, there are so many flash storms, and the lightning le really does, like, do damage. Oh, that's a good stretch. Yeah, we gotta pay the tax. Yeah, see, that's why uh, the, the gentle reminder. That's all. That's all. Just paying the tax. But that's it, and it is a tax, okay? Because it is the law. But that's why that's all I want. That's it. That's it. You guys are. Like, we want to thank you for for the stream and you know whatever. We show our appreciation. You know that's that's why the tax is the tax because that's legit. That's all I want. That's it. Honestly, because I I have I feel like that makes a big enough difference. Brian, why aren't you fighting this fire? Um, it does make a difference on the videos and the channel, and, like, I do notice it. So that's why I'm like, nope, that actually works. So that will be the one thing that I demand. Oh. Demand you pay. That's it. You pay that, though? Like, that, I'm good. I need nothing else. I want nothing else. I want you to sit back, enjoy the stream, enjoy the chat room, enjoy hanging out, enjoy the community, enjoy all of it. Whatever it is you take from this that is good, I want that's then I just want you to sit back and enjoy it after you pay the tax. That's it. We just, the rest is just the icing on the cake. Or maybe filling if you're like a, you know, some sort of donut or pastry with jam inside, maybe. Anything else is just whatever that is, just that stuff. The icing on the cake, or perhaps that jam. Yeah. Mm. Like a 
it was really good. Hmm. God, what am I doing to myself? Hey, are you guys finishing this ever? Finally, maybe? What you doing, Saint Beth? Milking the yak? <laughs> Obey the law. I only get, I only become Rageman. Not even Rageman. I only have to demand it in all caps or <laughs> with intent uh, when people refuse to pay the tax. And they are uh, insolent about it. I'm mayor in this village. Is it mayor? What would you call the person in charge here? In this type of village. Which now mostly exists of reformed tribals or pirates that tried to kill the people that live here. All of the residents are now pretty much those people. And like, not not that long. We've only been eight years. That's how, that's how many, like, whatever. Within eight years, like, they all, they all know what they are, but, like, it is kind of funny to think about the little story of this, this colony, this trying to survive. A warden. Warden sounds intimidating. <laughs> Not a dictator. No, no, I want them, you know, they, I try to be fair. It's fair. Listen, I think semi, pretty much, for the most part, like, daily or close to it, the streams, even if they weren't super long, at least right now, I feel like the tax is a fair trade. The two seconds of a click. And then that's it. When Queens, when we finish this throne room, Queens is gonna be like, Queens is gonna be the queen. It's gonna be something. Here, Jamie, could you finish this? Actually, I would really like you to work on this. God damn, another flash storm? Shit. Jesus, it is right on the farm. At least is, is it raining? Actually, no, it's not. No wonder it's kitchen fire. Fight the fire, everyone! Everyone! Put it out! Oh my god. The flash storm is over. Thank god! This one was rough. Oh man, the garden's on fire! You know, this happened at my mamaw's farm when I was a kid. It was a big deal. There was a big fire. And I remember everybody like running with buckets and water. It was crazy, actually. Like, they had a huge, they lived in, uh, Indiana. So just, like, flat farm, like, for miles and miles and miles and miles. Um, and, yeah. I remember it was, like, the, just the smoke and the burning, and it was hot. And I was, like, a little kid, so they didn't let me get really close, but I do remember running water. Like, running buckets of water to the adults. Like, they did make me do that job. It was scary, actually. They got it under control. Yeah, but but something something else equally horrible would loco. There's always a there's always a, a, a trade off. Like oh, we live in the snow forest. Yeah, damn. We're still going, still fighting it. Cause I do, I don't, I don't want it to burn the, the tree down here. We need to get that. Actually, what are these stones doing here? Like, what is this? Slate? Jesus. Oh no, Panther 4 died? Burn! Oh! Oh no, and RJ Kitty got burnt! Oh my god, someone save her. I mean, not we can't save her now. She's dead, but we need to we need to fight these fires. Holy shit! I didn't even realize. 
Here, Karen, you go down here and fight this one too. Oh my god! Art with a tree fitty! Art, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's up, dude? How's it going? How's the drawing going? What you working on right now? I haven't watched one of your streams in a bit. So I don't know I don't know what you're working on. Come on, guys. Put it out. Poor Art. Poor the, it was one of the unnamed ones. See, this is what happens when he doesn't name them. They die. This is his fault. If he had named... Mm -hmm. He can't be mad at me for that one. You can't be mad at me for... He can't be mad at me for that one. That one doesn't count. Doesn't count. Look at Pookie out here just wandering around. Pookie, why are you the one animal wandering around? Are beavers nocturnal? Is that a thing? I don't know if that's a thing. At least the animals are sleeping right now. Oh my god! The, the field's on fire! Oh shit! The bed! The bed! How? This is stone! How did this... This is stone and water. I thought for sure... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, Jamie. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Stacy, here, here. Wow! That almost was really bad. Sneaky, sneaky Rimworld. Well, the death is Rebecca's fault. She wished it on the colony. But, but I'm saying RJ City can't be mad at me for getting one of the kitties killed. For negligence. Time 5 could be mad at me for negligence. Maybe uh, uh, Gavin. It was Gavin, wasn't it? Yes, because Gavin was the traitor. And we had to arrest him. Oh, Jesus. Can we have some rain, please? That'd be great. That'd be great. This is bad. I mean, this one shouldn't be a problem. These animals need to move. Y'all need to... Lemurs, you need to move. Whatever. You're not my lemurs. Yeah, Jamie. Finish the walls. Brian Clark, what you doing right now? Eating. Gardening. He does a lot of gardening. Yeah. Oh, the daylilies. He does. He keeps... Look, that's nice. He does keep the plants growing in people's rooms. Oh, Queens doesn't have one. She... Don't worry, Queens. Don't worry, Queens. I might build Queens' little room attached, like, here. She lives- she lives beside the- Let's, let's maybe draw that. Beside the meditation throne palace. It's a palace! That's what it is! Yeah, like this. She'll have everything in here. This side will be like a bedroom. This side will be like all her nice shit. Yes. What's up, Casey? Good morning. Ugh. That is crazy. Look, two massive fires going on. Actually, three. This one, too. It's just on the edge of the map. Crazy. Now this one should burn out. This should burn out before it becomes a problem, but we'll see. Brian, what you doing? You do a lot of gardening, Brian. I'm not sure I want you gardening. Maybe I want you doing something else. Just throwing it out there. Bex, Bex, you can do gardening. You got time for gardening, Bex. Let's, let's trade. Let's trade. We're trading jobs. We have too much food. We have too much food, but it's like borderline. It's borderline. Hey, oh shit. Brian has collapsed due to extreme exhaustion. Damn, Brian Clark. What'd you do that for? Brian's pretty good acquaintances with everybody. Wang is his... Wait, wait. He's off the map, I see. Ex-lover? Wait, what? Who's his ex-lover? Hold on, Brian Clark. I've got my... Oh my god. 
Wait, wait, wait. Deep talk. So they, he's really good friends with Queens and Stacey Lynn. Like, really good friends. And then he's got a father and a sister that exist in this world. But that's it. They're not on the map. They visit sometimes. So, but they're from the friendly ones. That's the ones where I'm like, how did they... Yeah, sometimes I can't remember how they join. I'm like, what? This is why I don't like to uh, uh, rename them either because they have a completely different story in relation to the colony, but if you name them the same name, it's like you get confused. Um, I mean, I still will sometimes, but in general, it's like I want to get a new name. That's why I can't wait to name the kid Alpha Wolf. Which is a cool name for a little tribal kid joining the colony, actually. Just saying. See, I don't... This is a cool game, and I don't want to risk <laughs> everybody getting murdered uh, in the... Opening an ancient danger. But I'm going to do it, I think, once I get the kid done and outfitted. You know? Everybody, everybody has a job. Even if it's to pull people off the battlefield, you know? Sleazy the whack. Poor, poor Sleazy had a heart attack right in the middle, just grazing in the field. Karen, too. So, where's she at? Yeah, Karen, too, is very much alive. She is such a hard worker. She gets so much shit done. She is the, she is the reason really anything gets done because she does basically all the mining and she's really fast at it really fast at it. And when you mine, you get these stones, right? Right here? Wait, hold on. You get these stones, which then the worker pigs and whoever else will haul to the workshop, to which I then make somebody makes make the, the stone blocks, the building blocks. And the building blocks are what I build pretty much everything out of for good reason, as you can see with all the flash storms. These, these apartments are going to burn down. I've got to... I want to like fix these but like I don't know they'll be exposed for like a day and or longer and it takes blocks so I have to like keep making them oh, what, do we got here? what do we got in here those granite yeah we need see I need somebody in here making them that's why I'm like Brian I, I think I'm gonna make Brian Clark be like a consistent stone cutter because I gotta have somebody making blocks because then Jamie can build oh shit hold on hold on this is why you do the planning tool before you build, because I might have made this, I might want to make this a little bit longer or shorter, depending on, and I didn't put a door, and Jamie's already building it, but he hasn't started, so I can still get the full uh, resources back. Let's see. I just want to make a nice, I'll be nice. Divides rooms. Um... And since all of this that I'm building this thing out of is slate, and I have a lot of these slate stones, that's why that's why most everything in this place is made of slate, except the floor, which is from all that sandstone that I bought off that one merchant. Like I bought like 1,500 sandstone, and this took like 1,300 to build. So I put the floor as all sandstone, and I, I, the, I left these because otherwise the roof will collapse, and I haven't decided where I want to put my pillars yet. But. That actually, that's perfect. Four on each side, right? Yeah. Put an auto door so it's fast, so she can get in there. She can get in there and hide if we need to. I might double wall this. We have to protect queens. She's crazy. She was like, FOMO. Like, listen, can we not trust queens? Shouldn't we trust queens? FOMO murdered his entire, like, his job. His previous job, he murdered everyone. Now, for good reason, okay? I don't want to say that it was justified because it was still mass murder, all right? But they were assholes to him and and then he murdered everyone. It's possible she, you know, just knew that and was trying to save us and protect us because as I said, there was that one time Tara murdered the entire colony and there's video of that. That was one of the stories that was so like, it was so ridiculous that I did, even back then when I wasn't uploading those kinds of videos, I have a video of that about, <laughs> about when Tara murdered everyone. For the, for the base not being clean. 
That's what was even funnier. Right, Casey? Alpha Wolf is a cool kid name. Now, he's not being born in, he's being recruited. His entire family, village, whatever, tried, they tried to kill us. They tried to kill us all, and I saved him. And I remember when I clicked on him, I just immediately went to hell, saw that he had the, he was the most likely to survive. Um, we captured him, whatever, and then he was really stubborn to break. And now he's pretty much broken, and so we're gonna, we're gonna recruit him now. Cause that's what we do. But yeah, when I realized he was a seven-year-old kid, I, was, I almost lost it. It was great. Indeed, we can lurk! Isn't it cute? Is it the, I was like, yeah. The Java I thought was kind of perfect. Very lurky. I can't do a good Java impression. I need to work on it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We're running out of battery? Oh shit, we are! Hmm. Well, turn the generators off. Actually, that will help a lot. Um, damn, okay, I need to build more. Um, Yeah, I need to build more stuff, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. Where do I want them? Maybe around this side? Like on this side of the greenhouse? It does kind of make sense for the all the solar to be here. Because the greenhouses are definitely what is draining the majority of the power. Also, it was probably adding this turret. Uh, it probably also m made a difference. I don't have any power running to the storm room yet. It's all fire. It's kind of great. Kind of great. Yeah, I guess I'll put a row of them here and then like, I'm going to build another, I'm going to like, Either build a barricade or whatever, because last time I did not like how everybody, they all ran in through here. That was bad. I gotta set way more traps up here. Way more defenses. Like, this one gun is nothing. It's literally nothing. In fact, I need another one on this side, at the very least. At the very least. But, I do think I'm gonna drop, like, maybe, we'll see, maybe four? Two and two? Because I still want them to have room to walk. That's basically exactly like the other side. I don't think I need it. Eh, I might eventually. I'll leave the space. But I feel like adding these will help. Jamie, you gotta build us some stuff. I know, it's a really cute emote. <laughs> I love you guys using the gamer thumbs too. I'm pretty pleased with the emotes on my channel. I, I, I really am. I really am. What y'all building? What y'all doing? Yeah, build- oh wait. Yeah, build the traps! That's right, finish the dock too. It's very, very, very useful. Whoa, whoa, whoa! A mad lemur? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Surely- What? Everyone's asleep. Well, not everyone, but- where you going? I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit the trap. I'm gonna hit the trap. We're gonna catch you. I'm 
warning you. Gleamer, you come in here. You go hit the traps. Pow! And that is the end of the story of the Mad Gleamer. See how that goes? Starvation? The hell, Brian, why you star- I don't know why they let themselves get to starving sometimes. Wait, why do you do that? Stop that. Stop that. Nice. Nice, Dixie. Nice. Yes. For anyone not aware, that is a lovely display of all of the emotes available if you become a member. If you want to, it's a fun. If not, it's a fun. Either way. Hey, see? Thank you, Brian Clark. Thank you for going back to crafting. This is what we need. This is what I need him doing. This is... Listen, this is great. Also, yes, thank you, Dixie. We all praise the sun. Feels good. It's good for your shoulders and your neck, too. Oh, yeah. You should do it. It's a good stretch, actually. Could someone please turn the generators on while we're waiting for these to be built? That'd be great. Dang, see, Karen already mined this out. She is so fast. I'm gonna tell these guys to haul these. The one job I don't have anybody doing right now is research. So. I kinda want to maybe free up Queens and have her do less of the cooking, but more of the research. And she doesn't really need to do other jobs. Her, she needs to become a queen. She will be our leader. We, I don't know why we picked her, but I guess it was her name. <laughs> but she's the one, and whatever. She's the one with the fancy title. Exactly, Dixie. It really is the best stretch in the morning. We'll lean into each, each side too. It's good stuff. Don't don't like don't underestimate stretching. I enjoy some good stretching. All right, let's look at Queens' schedule. Nobody, nobody's doing childcare right now. You know why? Because nobody, nobody has any children, and nobody has any potential to have any children. Well, we just, we finally, we finally got people's jobs put in order, Stacy Lynn, enough that. I had the materials to build the church. I had it. I had the plans down. I just didn't have any materials. That's why stuff doesn't get done. It's like oh, I'm building this out of stone. But if you don't have any stone, you can't build it. And I use a lot of granite for traps because they are the strongest and they do damage. They do the most damage. And so that leaves me only using either limestone, which there's a bunch here that eventually I'm gonna get to. But most of what was the, or not most of it, all of this, well, is slate, as far as stone goes. There's steel in it too that I need to get, cause I'm kinda, eh. If I get below a thousand steel, I'm like, mm. I'm gonna be, it's cause I'm using it to build these solar panels. But clearly we need it, cause, look. I need to build another battery room, I guess. I wanted to build this out of granite too, the wall. But they're using them all for the traps because I laid them down first, which is good. I do kind of want that. If I lose this in a raid, like whatever, I can rebuild it. I can't bring Top Eye back. I don't know how she bled out. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how it happened. It was a fine, and then it was a not a fine. Like, Jamie was uh, tending her she had time left and then just in the middle of it like she bled out so maybe things got worse suddenly i don't know it's possible like you just don't know but we did save um we did save batista that one time with his leg blown off and his right lung destroyed by the way like he needs an he has one lung all right literally one lung one lung, one leg. We saved him with seconds until he bled out. Seconds. I saw the countdown. I was watching it. And somehow, we got it done enough to, to stabilize him. So, 
he has survived. Yet then Time 5 had like four hours until she bled out and then she just died while Jamie was in the middle of tending her. There was no reason for it to do that. So I don't know. It just happened. It just bad. It's just the game. The game just gives no fucks it sometimes. Like just none. You got a peg leg, but you are alive. Oh, see, we getting this flat stuff done. This flat gear. This is great. Gotta make. Mm, we're good. Raid caravan. Oh yeah. See, I love that it gives you tips to go raid the other people. Like, listen, that is great. That is great. But I ain't risking nobody right now. No oh, shit, I didn't want to jump to look. Oh, God damn it. I might have just. I might have just. Okay, it's just letting me look at it. So we're here. So yeah, we're on. We're on this fork. This little blue. This is us. This is Soundmere. We call it the village of Narf. The faction. Our faction is the Nafarthana Concord. So we're the Narfites. Right? But our village is called Soundmere. Hilarious. Um, the caravan stopped. For 12 days, that caravan has stopped right here by this river. So, you can send a raiding party. You could send a raiding party to attack this, this caravan and then basically raid all their stuff. Like, if, if you were a rate like that kind of colony which i'm not saying i won't do it but it's like just where it's at right now like i'm really not in a position to risk anybody for that kind of reward like we have resources we have everything like like if you it's just not worth the risk but i do want to open this ancient danger because it scares me and it's, it's basically inside our walls, essentially. Now this upper wall sucks. It's only one light. Oh God, I gotta work on it. It's still got holes in it. The church is more important! Queens, let's see how that goes. Let's see how you do that. Might as well let it. This should be always the better rest. Hmm. You know, CM Pep, I'm gonna need you to start doctoring people more. You have a high passion for it, average skill, but there's a lot of minor injuries you can treat safely. I'm like, I wouldn't have you do the surgery when we give. Batista a new leg, but, you know, like, patching up the animals, whatever, like, and she has such a passion for it, she should learn it pretty quickly, and then she'll become a really good, um, doctor. We need another doctor. We did, like, Michael was our other doctor, and he died, okay? He did. So, we need a new, we need a new backup doctor. It can't be just Jamie. I'm determined to get, like, to be able to run, like, a stable 12-person colony, and then have, like, a six-person party that I can have to do stuff. Whether it's fighting or whatever. Trading. Like, it doesn't have to all be violent. Okay? Um, that way, it's like, I don't know. I, I think 12 people is perfect. And I can build this, this colony a little bigger. I just, to keep it stable, you have to do it slow. That's like, that's what I've learned. If you want to keep expanding, like, it's really easy. Because, also, I play on, even though I have it on Phoebe Chillax, that just extends the time between the events. The difficulty is, it, it used to be called Rough, um, but it's called, like, Strive to Survive or something now. It's, the, it's not the hardest one, but it's, like, right below it. The hardest one is insane. It's ridiculous. It's, like, you have to be, like, a glutton for punishment and enjoy really short games. Um... 
but I feel like this one's like it, it can be really severe sometimes the events that happen but because there's enough time between them I'm like I'm able to last and build these colonies and I like when they last really long times like I think that's fun I think I, I don't even if it's a colony like I'm not if it's like I'm playing this and I'm not streaming it I still play the same way like, I get really attached to all the animals and the people, still. I do want queens still wardening, often. What's up, Team QoS? I didn't see you there. But yes, this, uh, the music is very uh, nice. I do enjoy Shit, what's happening? Major break. There's some great um, guitar tracks, but like this piano, this is amazing. Listen to this. What's up, Queens? What's wrong with you? Queens is missing three toes and a left arm. And she's a body pierce, so she does not want a replacement arm. She's just like, I'm good with my one arm, just leave it. And I'm like, no, but Queens, I could put, like, a fully functioning, better than your original arm. Like, some people who love, like, I think they're called transhumanists, right? Like, they, they want to have artificial body parts. They are perfect to turn into, like, cyborgs. Uh, because then they run super fast. They are super strong with their super arms. Like, you can, they have all these implants that you can put that give them all these skill boosts. Like, you can legit make somebody a cyborg and make them superhuman. So, if you can do the surgery successfully, which you need a really good doctor for. Like, I would say at least 15 skill or above. I wouldn't do any by choice surgeries without a level 15 skill or above. And what is Jamie's skill? Because I think I have a transhumanist. He's 12. Maybe. Maybe risk it. But otherwise, like... If you can do it, you have a doctor, yeah, it's great. Like, but the bionic body parts are expensive. Um, and it's like, what if somebody needs one? You don't necessarily want to just like... Well, I mean, it is, it is fun. You can do it for fun. Not for fun, like they actually like it. I'm pretty sure I have a transhumanist. Pretty sure I do. Let's see. Not Bex. Not CM Pep. Not Brian Clark. Not Batista. Not Jamie. Maybe they died. <laughs> Not Karen. Uh, wait, you're, bo you're the body purist. Stacey Lynn is a body purist. So she also does not want fake body parts. And neither does Queens. I have no. I, they must have died. I don't remember who it was. Oh my god, yes. I love that everybody loves the mug. This is great. Um, here. I'm almost out of coffee, damn. Um, so this is my... Wait, wait, which camera? Oh, there it is. Western Village RV Park. And it's got a little cowboy on it there. See that little guy? My light is obscuring it, sorry. You get the idea. You get the idea. Oh, shit, maybe you don't. And it's got this nice speckled... Um, look to it it's really nice actually it's it's a good mug it's wide right like but it's not like it doesn't feel like an oversized mug it's like the perfect size but it's also very wide and i like that a lot so oh thank you casey i didn't see i mean i did see i did see it i will say sometimes give me at least a 30 second delay there is a lag with streaming because so, like, you guys type it in the chat. I, I see it immediately. Or, well, no. That's not true. I don't see it immediately. Um, sometimes. But even if I do, the stream itself is still, like, behind. So, me actually respond, like, it getting to that point, you're still, like, 30 seconds at least usually behind. But as you guys have seen sometimes, like, in Assassin's Creed that time, it got, like, five minutes of latency. Like, it was ridiculous. There was a massive delay, and I was, like, losing my mind trying to explain it. I'm like, no, we're on a delay. I'm looking at the stream. That was, like, five minutes ago. 
And they're like, no, it's caught up. And I'm like, no, no it's not. Um, but then, yes, so like, even if I see it immediately and respond, there's still gonna be usually at least 30 seconds delay, but I don't always. Um, just because of my line of sight, when I glance, I usually see the top of the chat, which sometimes can have been like a little bit ago. You know what I mean? I kind of wish the chat would like, would go down like the other way. Hmm. But anyway, thank you for the sky blue tribute. But yes, there's the mug. I would have done it. I was doing I was doing it. I just hadn't seen it yet. <laughs> yes. The future Oh no! Oh my god, Cody has the flu. What the hell? Aw. Poor Cody. Jamie, can you tend him? Please tend him. Cody. What gun we gonna give little, uh, little Alpha Wolf here? What we got? What we got? What we got? What's bi-code? Bi-coding? What? What does that mean, bi-coding? What does that mean? Does that mean it only works for her? This would be a good gun. It's compact, wide caliber slug thrower. It's got a very short range, but it packs a punch and it handles well. That'd be a good one for little little Alpha Wolf. But I don't know what that. Oh wow! This item has been coded to accept a particular individual's bio signature. Wow. So I need to like destroy that. Interesting. Or sell it. I'm just gonna sell it. I think there's a way to deconstruct them, maybe. But. Good lord, the tiny, tiny text. Teeny, teeny, tiny text. There's so many things. Um. Yeah, I can make him something. I can make him one of those guns. I, I have a lot of stuff now that I can make. We can make him a simple prosthetic hand. Doesn't have to be a fancy one, right? I think that's fair. But I'm gonna set it so that only somebody actually good will craft it, please. Ideally. <laughs> uh, which I think Brian Clark right, can do it. Crafting, oh yeah. Here, Brian Clark. I know you're sleeping. Ah, whatever, I'll let you do it in the morning. Beeswax? I think I've researched some of the beekeeping stuff. That's a thing I can do at some point, too. Well, there's horses. There's several different breeds of horses, actually, in RimWorld. That's totally normal, but... I don't think I've seen a single horse either come through this map or wander onto it. But sometimes they do. Also, it could be a random event. They're like, a pack of, wait, a pack of horses? Why can't I think of it? A herd, a herd of horses. I'm out of coffee. There's literally was a drop in that cup. That's it. I enjoy the lurk emote. I'm glad you guys are using it. It's perfect. Mi <laughs> Miss Mrs. Opasa. <laughs> yeah, she was just wandering through. She was just a a passerby. Wait, 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 wait. An, in, an, an infantry officer is passing by. He's from the Shattered Empire, so we ain't gonna mess with him. Look at him. Look at him wearing his little hat. Look at him in his little trench coat and hat. This guy, and he's got a freaking SMG. This guy's like a little gangster, just walking by himself. He's like, 
I'm, I'm passing by your village? I mean you no harm. Well, he shouldn't anyway. I'm cool with the Empire. We, we, we trade a lot. Queens is one of them. Bas basically, she pays a tax to be called a royal. That's basically what Queens does. But she gets all hoity-toity about it. Um, I wonder if I can hollow that out. Why is this... This is not supposed to be wooden. God dang it. I thought for sure I made it slate. That is so frustrating. Where you at, Jamie? Oh, he's taking care of Cody. That's so sad. Poor Cody's got the flu. Sorry, we got really good medicine. He should be fine. You built the wrong door, Jamie. Yes, I told you to build it that way, but... <sighs> but it was wrong. Slate. Actually, you know... Mm, we'll do it out of marble. I have some extra. But look, I need to run. Mm. Mm-mm, I need to, I forgot to mine this out. I just hope this doesn't, it shouldn't collapse. That should be close enough to hold the roof, but we'll see. I guess we'll find out. This is Queen's royal bedroom I'm working on right now. <laughs> That's a good recap, Casey. That is a good recap. It's a, it's a good, uh, it's a good bringing everyone up to speed on where we're at in the stream. <laughs> uh, Karen dude does get shit done. She really does. There we go. We made a simple prosthetic hand. And as soon as little Alpha Wolf joins us, we're going to give him a new hand. It's not a super hand, okay? It's not going to give him any bonuses, but it's just a normal hand. Because for some reason, when he broke out, okay, he broke out of his... His, uh, he tried to run away. M Mrs. Opossum or or Stacy Lynn. I, I'm not sure who. I, ha I, I had Stacy set to melee only, and she was only using her fist, okay? But Mrs. Opossum also started punching Little Alpha Wolf, okay? They subdued him. At the time, I did not know he was a child either. I'm just going to throw that out there. Um, they subdued him, put him back, but then it was like, medical emergency. And I look, go to hell, and it says his right hand has been destroyed. Destroyed. No idea why. So it's gone. All right? That's what destroyed means. That means a body part is entirely missing. So somehow in that tussle, he got his hand destroyed. All right? But we're going to give him a new hand. He ain't gonna mind it. In fact, he might find a reason to love it because he's an optimist. He's staggeringly ugly. He is an ugly, ugly, ugly little child. Okay? The the, the, the description, by the way, reading that, I could not keep a straight face um, when reading it. But he's an optimist as well, which is great. Permanent mood effect, plus six. Permanent! That's amazing. That's really amazing. That's a great, great trait to have. It really does pay off in the long run and in the long game, the stuff like that. That's what I like about playing these longer games, is you really see uh, what the different, God damn it, I gotta get more coffee. It's time, it's a time. Oh my God, Rebecca loves being the bearer of death news. Oh God, a roof collapsed, a roof collapsed. Karen 2, stop it. I'm telling you, dude, Karen 2 is gonna absolutely die in a cave-in. Because she's the miner. She she mines. Oh shit. See now I did I did this too. She 
because she's always doing this stuff, occasionally I, I clear out more space than can be supported by roofs. So there are cave-ins, and that is very dangerous, and they can die. I have, ha I have lost colonists that way. It's pretty common, actually. If a roof collapse on them, yeah. Like being a coal miner. Oh my god. So, okay, so I'm making her stop. Just stop, Karen. And then I'm gonna have her build, or I'm gonna have Jamie probably build a, some support beams. Maybe slate. Or maybe marble. Yeah, I definitely have enough marble to do it. Jamie, go build this marble post. Karen, go do something else. She's watching television. Good, good, Karen. You almost died in a roof collapse incident. Good. You deserve to go watch some television. Yeah, hey, there's nothing wrong with people telling you you look young. I got told that a lot of my life, and I was always just like, ugh. But like, no, it's good. Like, it's a good thing. When I wear my hair, like, pulled back, for some reason, people, like, really do treat me like I'm like 15 years old and I'm like really? Okay, thank god we built the marble post. Okay. Now Karen won't die in a cave-in. And it's it, it, even though it has to be like a so the reason also you want nice walls, nice floors is it adds beauty, okay, to the room. And the higher that score, the higher the happier queens will be. Um, so you don't want to put like an ugly, just an ugly granite post. You want a nice marble post because it actually adds to the room beauty as opposed to not. Beauty of six, like that's pretty good. Now the only problem is I had to use slate for the walls, but it's at least not a minus to beauty. So I can put like a fancy floor or something to make up for it. Oh my god! Casey, don't guilt me about Type 5. I tried to save her. I tried to save her. Listen, her and C and Pev were both brought into the hospital, okay? They were brought into the hospital, and I checked their wounds. Type 5 had like four hours to live, and C and Pev had like seven hours to live, and Jamie was going to treat C and Pep, okay? And I was like, no, no, save Ty Five. She, she needs it, all right? Now, I saved Batista with seconds to live. Seconds, I saw the countdown go down to seconds and I still bandaged her in time and saved her, okay? I tell Ta Jamie to tend to Ty Five. He's doing it. He's in the middle of doing it. In fact, I think he had put two bandages on her already, which should give you even more time to save them, okay? He's in the middle of doing it, and then he goes, bloop, bloop, and Type 5 bled out. And I'm like, how does that happen? It really was just like, like a bad roll of the dice. Really bad roll of the dice. Like some, and that's what it is, is like sometimes it's like, even when you do the right thing, the game is still like, mm, nope, she had an artery explode and, and, and bled out instead. And it's like, <laughs> like, okay, I guess. So yeah, Ty Five died. C and Pep got saved. Batista got saved with seconds to live. Some temperature in here. Oh, it's considered outdoors still. We gotta get these walls. We gotta get these walls uh, sealed up. Why is no one deconstructing anything? That I don't understand. Richard Pawson just following Batista around. So cute. Do, 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 do. 
Have a little, uh, yes, yes, a moment for tie five. We did, okay? And also, I buried her with honors right there. Fun. She, her sarcophagus has art on it. <clears throat> now, granted, they are placed outside behind the barn right now. Um, but Karen, too, is working on digging out a space here that we will be able to build a crypt. All right? A beautiful crypt. That's what we call it, right? I don't know. Maybe not. But either way, we will build a nice area to store the bodies of the fallen. Because it does actually make the colonists happy. Actually. Like, it actually does. So. There. That way they leave just posts. And we'll have more stones to build shit with. So, good. Good, good, Karen. Good. I definitely can't pull off the bow like you do, JDG. That is, that is totally a look that you own, and I love it, but I cannot pull it off. Trust me. Only, only certain things look all right when placed upon my head. That's why I wear them. And only specific ones, usually. Just like these bougie-ass headphones. Oh my god, they're so nice. Oh, they feel so nice on my ears, you guys. They really do. I feel like we're gonna need more clothes soon. I feel like everybody's stuff's gonna get destroyed. Um... Actually, everybody's looking okay. Decent. Decent. Pretty decent. Okay. Okay. Actually, everybody's pretty good. Um, I may need to build a couple more shield belts for my melee people. Those, those get used up. Like, when you actually get raided and they get shot at and get used, they it really does do damage which is i mean that makes sense i don't mind to keep making new ones um where's it that shield belt but they'll change them out when they get less than 50 percent which is good because then they can just break and then it's bad so yeah somebody good makes it i told you little alpha wolf was going he was gonna be a while he's stubborn he's hard will he's hard-headed i like that though he's gonna be i think he's gonna be a good a good Addition. See, we lost high five, but we gonna get little Alpha Wolf here. Batista's trying. It's actually good when you get more than one person. Try oh, there he is. Welcome. We've done it, you all. We've done it. We've done it. Like Michael Jackson. That's him. Like a tome. Could also be that. That's scary though. Here we go. Clam. Your first name is Clam. Actually, wait. I, I like it one word. There we go. Little Alpha Wolf. Rebecca! Oh, I'll get you. being insolent again everyone pay the tax i'm i'm a i'm i'm a wait what did we say my name <laughs> oh the mayor i said mayor i'm like am i a mayor i don't know if i'm a mayor we're still that's still that's still up for vote okay we're still deciding um but i feel like it's a fair trade okay you pay the tax you enjoy it whatever you call this. All right, now let's put little Alpha Wolf to work. I love that he even looks tiny in his, uh... oh my God, 
Like his little pawn is tiny. And that helmet looks way too big on him. He is adorable. He's wearing a hoodie. He's wearing a flag jacket and flag pants and nice boots. Now he's carrying an ax, but I'm gonna give him, and he's wearing the plasteel plate helmet. Perfect, perfect, perfect. But I wanna give him a weapon. See, I'm gonna make him something different to, um, that's what, maybe that's what I'll do. I'm gonna make him, that's what I was looking at in this. Um, like, maybe an SMG, something short range that hits heavy. A double barrel shotgun, a tiny child with a double barrel shotgun. Ah, thank you so much, Loco. You are very welcome. That is a cute little sticker, a little purple heart thanks sticker. Thank you for that. I appreciate you very much. I hope you enjoy. Obviously you do. You show it, I feel it, so. And now you depart for sleep, so please enjoy it. Hmm, ooh, we can make ballistic goggles? I wanna make, ooh, shit, 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 shit. That's not what I meant to do. That is not what I wanted. A hand cannon? That's funny. Uh, no, I was gonna make some ballistic goggles, though. That I am gonna do. Somebody only decent can do it. If they don't have a 10 or above, they won't do it. Um, <clears throat> and you can, yeah. Sweet. It only takes 30 steel to do those? Wow. Hell yeah. Yeah. We're getting people outfitted, okay guys? Karen's wearing ballistic goggles. She likes them. Why can't other people have them? Jamie has a sombrero on. That's what we're doing. I love the hard hats. They're really cute, actually. Really cute. Let's make, let's make some more sombreros. I feel like these guys will choose to wear helmets over the sombrero, but maybe not. Maybe not. We can still make them, they're cute, okay? What up, red dog? How are you, man? I feel like I always need more pants. I feel like they get destroyed the fastest and then people run around without pants on, but I'm not getting a notification because as long as they're wearing it. So they'll be like, I got a hoodie on and a hat. And I'm like, yeah, but you got no pants on. You need pants, okay? So I constantly am making pants and they replace them as they get like, you know, whatever. And we gonna make some overalls too. Just a couple. And some hoodies. I like it when they wear the hoodies. I think that's adorable. Sounds good, Casey. Actually, I've been saying for like 15 minutes I was gonna get some more coffee, so I think I'm gonna do that now. Is that okay, guys? Do you mind? Please? I'm still gonna do it, no matter what you say. No matter what the chat says, I'm still gonna go get coffee. But, but if you were sitting here and we were in a lounge and I was gonna excuse myself, I would I would be like, is that cool? I'm gonna go just real quick. I'll be right back. So. Why are there lemurs? How long? has, oh my god. You know what is good actually too? This is frozen. So the bodies don't rot when we bring them in here because I've got this big ass electric butcher table. I can butcher up these frozen carcasses. That's amazing. Hell yeah. We got a real fancy kitchen going on. All right, I'm gonna take a real quick break guys. Let me get some fresh coffee. I might have to make some more. I don't know, I'll see. Um, but I won't be gone for more than a few minutes. <clears throat> so please nobody panic. Lurk if you must, pay the tax if you haven't, and yeah, that's it. That's all you gotta do. Do whatever you want. I don't care. All right, I'll be right back, guys.
thank you guys for waiting patiently. I have a little bit more coffee that I'm gonna sip on until my food gets here, which I'm gonna order right now. <clears throat> I was gonna do it, I was just gonna do it before I came back, but whatever. I've been enjoying these shakes, so just give me like two seconds to do that. <laughs> the puppies, the puppies are asleep. Puppies are passed out right now being lazies oh, oh oh hi hello what's for breakfast um the smoothie and the the peanut butter and granola crunch wrap thing that they have it's really good but yeah i've been enjoying that it makes me feel i i, I don't know Listen, I love a good, like, biscuits and gravy and whatever else, okay? Like, I love it too, but it does pretty much just make me be like, I need a nap. Like, I need a nap. Like, it's a lot. But, something like this, like, I feel a lot more productive. I feel a lot better doing my workout later in the day too. So, so there's that. There is always a direct correlation to uh, what you eat and how you feel. So, so yeah, this one's been good. One moment, one moment. I like it when it's like, you order this. I'm like, yep, the same thing every time. Thank you for noticing. Mm -hmm. And then a protein smoothie. stuff. Good, good, good. Mm, not that, that. And do the B12. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yes. And yes. Yes. <laughs> How many drivers have been eating in the moat? Well, if it's a moat, I guess we don't know, do we? I prefer my my uh, certain type certain workouts in the evening because that's when shows are. Whether it's and it was all it's always been that way for me. Whether it was a fight or whether it was a wrestling show, most of them take place in the evening. Most that's when most shows are. Yes, there are morning shows. My very 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 first wrestling match was a morning show. It was a PC show, PC Live. PC Live! Hey, PC Live is cool. It's actually very cool, and that is that was my first match. Y'all just helping yourselves to my targets out here. How they work for you? Working good? Look good? Hmm? Hmm? Rachel Chili Benway. Finlia. Finlia is. I need to look on. Oh, God. Jesus. God. Jesus, the one downside to cords. Um. <laughs> I put every time, no matter what app I'm in, Uber Eats or DoorDash or whatever, whatever. I have like 14 of them on my phone. Um, I put every time in, in, in all caps, I say, please don't ring the doorbell. I know I have food coming, 
There's a chair by the door. Leave it there. Please do not ring the doorbell. Okay? Do not ring the doorbell. Every time they ring the doorbell. I've gone and I've watched them. I'm sitting, I'm, I'm watching them. They, they, they get out their phone and like, they're looking at it, whatever. They leave it. They hit the doorbell every time. And I'm like, how do you miss that? Like, you're not reading the first thing I put. If you read any, if there's like a way to read notes, if you read it now, like every now and then I'd say like a third of them don't ring the doorbell but every time. And then the dogs go insane. So I'm like, why, why is this? Just please don't ring the doorbell. Also, they sometimes like, I don't know. I guess it's like the trade-off, whatever. Ah, oh, shit, we got a raid, we got a raid. Oh no, I'm not prepared. Oh no, little alpha wolf just got here. Oh God, oh God, oh God, let's give him a weapon though. For self-defense, of course, all right. What you got? Incendiary launcher. No, everything will burn, that's bad. That's a bad weapon here. It's very destructive. I would only want to use that if I was like going to raid someone. I wouldn't want to use it as a defense. Nope. Nor a grenade launcher. Like, nah. So let's give him um, a semi-automatic rifle. There you go. Go grab a rifle, kid. Oh shit. I'm not ready. I'm not ready! My defenses suck. I was... I need to spend some time on my defenses. And not grand meditation palaces. <laughs> Alright. Alright. I don't know where they're landing. I don't know where. I don't know where they're landing. I do have all my turrets up. Okay. Animals. Animals all go in inside the animal area. Go, 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 go. It's this one, right? Yeah. I still allow them out in the field. Um... Which is sometimes a mistake. I remember one time the mechs got in there and it was bad. Oh God. All right, nobody's gonna die. Zero deaths, guys. Remember that? Let's do this. All right, animals in the area. Queens, what are you doing? What you doing for me? Queens, would you got one arm? You're not gonna be as good at fighting. That's annoying, okay? Oh shit, look at this motherfucker. Hey, you. You bastard, what are you doing? Stacy Lynn, how, where are you? Oh yeah, you on. You got this, you got this. Get up here. Get up here, get up here. Like right here. You got this, you got this. Um, Jamie, what you doing? Uh, you got your Warhammer. Where are they? Did this guy hit a trap? No, no they did not. Damn. Jamie, I like Jamie to be drafted, but up here by the hospital because he's the doctor. He's the only doctor, uh, but he's good at melee and if he has to rush in and save somebody, he's good at it. So he'll be fine. Uh, Karen too, I need you to get up. Karen is like the badass. She really is. She's like, this is it. This is what I live for. This is the thing she has the passion for right here. I can bring it on with her ballistic goggles and her, her hard hat. Batista. Where else are they? Out here. So this guy. All right, a lot of them come are coming in here, here, here. Alpha Wolf, you going to get your gun? That's good. Um, where else we got? Where else? Brian Clark, what are you doing? Oh, you're crafting shit. What are you making? We don't have time for this right now, Brian Clark. We need your sniper rifle, sir. I have a feeling this guy's getting ready to destroy this turret right away. See him, Pep? Oh my god, this axe is whatever. Vex, wake up! We gotta go! Alright, alright, alright. Everybody go. Places, everyone! Places! Oh my god, John Litter, watch out! Hell yeah, it's, oh shit, that turret's doing good. Oh my god, I guess if they drop down right there. 
I just, I don't want to get surprised by any more. I've got this one out here, and this one here, and this one here. Which, they're both probably going to come in this way. Which doesn't have a ton of traps. Look, this thing's already dead. It's a bastard. Um, but Stacy Lynn is almost in position. Actually, she is in position. Damn, but he's literally behind the barricade right now. That's annoying. Um, let's see. What else we got? CM Pep, what you doing? Ow, ow, ow. That wasn't ow. Um, that was from my finger. I smashed in a, a wrong spot. Um, places, everybody! Places! <laughs> that literally is what it is. All right, queens. We need you to... Jesus, I don't know. Just stay ready, please. I want all my melee people to be there only to pull people out. Here, queens, actually, I want you here. Man, this bastard, this bastard right here. See him, pet? Where are you going? You gonna go take this guy, huh? Alright. Stacy Lynn, how you doing? Oh shit, and Karen! Karen! This, right here, Karen. This is it, this is the moment. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Let Stacy get some, a few more shots. Oh, damn! Serious hit. Oh my god, RJ Kitty! <gasps> get somewhere safe! Oh my god, he's got death in eight hours. We gotta save. Oh my god, Jamie, legit, you gotta save him. Um, you know what? Jesus. I wonder if I put it there. Yep. I'm gonna put an animal spot real quick. Let's see if he'll go. Going. He should be. We'll save him. Don't worry. We're saving him, everyone. Queens, you going too. Get in there. You and Karen taking this fucker down right here. There you go. Stacy Lynn, keep picking him off. Where's RJ Kitty? Oh, it's about to explode. What's about to explode? Ah, oh, shit, my turret. Damn. There, there you go, there you go, there you go. Jamie, do it. You gotta take care of it. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Uh, good. Good, good, good. Damn. Alright, back to this. How are these things not dead? Come on, kill this fucker. Yep. Damn, Stacy Lynn is good with this sniper rifle. Alpha Wolf, you got this gun yet? No, you did not. You did not. Hey, hey. Is this oh, hell yeah, what happened? It doesn't matter, he's dead. Here, guys. We doing, we, we, we good, we good, we good. Honestly, I want Stacy Lynn to take as many shots as she can, and the others are coming in too, so I want to try and fight as smart as possible. Um, let's take that. Oh, a semi automatic rifle is too large a weapon for Alpha Wolf to handle. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Um, here, take this revolver. There you go. There you go. You got that. He's coming to help, guys. He's coming to help. Don't you worry. There you go. Nice. 
Nice, 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 guys. Come on, come on. Hell yeah, good shit. All right, this guy, this guy. All right, we got this one asshole that Brian Clark is taking shots at right now. But everybody else is getting ready to move up and ruin his day. Mm -mm. Who's down? Everybody good? What was that noise? Jamie, oh my god, thank you, Jamie. Ah, uh, poor RJ Kitty got shot in the neck. I don't know who shot him, but we're we're destroying, we're killing these assholes. This is the last one. Come on, Brian Clark, you got this. Ah, uh, the little alpha wolf's coming to help. It's so cute. There you go, Stacy Lynn. Come on. How about finish him off? Okay. Bex, how about finish him off? Oh shit, cleaning bot, watch out! Can you hit me up, Batista? Hell yeah! Oh shit. He's turned. Don't you shoot at my cleaning bot. Don't you do that. Oh yeah, you're getting hit at from every angle now. Oh my god, little alpha wolf. He's gonna, he's gonna take a shot. He wants to be a part of the battle! There you go. Yeah, get him! Oh shit, don't shoot the cleaning bot. He's only got one hand right now. We haven't done the surgery yet. Oh my god, Batista, you hit, dude? Right arm. Uh, he's bleeding, right arm, but no immediate danger. Either way, I'm pulling him out because we have this battle won and we don't need to take that risk, okay? And Jamie's gonna be done with RJ Kitty, who should be fine right now. Totally fine. He's gotta rest. He's gonna be a little bit of pain, I'm sure. But we will make sure that he is up. See? Very scary. Tending to Jamie. Oh shit, Jamie got shot? Oh shit. Oh, there we go. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead, everyone. Karen, too? Go finish. Go finish the job. That's right. Whew! And little Alpha Wolf got to be a part of the battle. He took shots and was a part of bringing down the last of the mechanoids. We did it, guys. That was actually better, okay? I feel like we responded well. We took minimal damage. Everybody did a little something. I'm pleased with this response, guys. Now, we definitely need more turrets. <laughs> or something. Because I take up so much of the map that, like, sometimes when they transport pod in, they are just inside the walls. And that's it. You're just fighting them here. So. Who else? Am I still recruiting? Alright, animal animals. The animals to go back in a moment. Queens, you may go back to doing whatever you were doing. None of RJ Kitty was the only animal to get hurt, and it was bad. Yeah, get him, Karen. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Hey, there you go. It was a good battle. It was a good battle. Handled it. Way better, better than the last one. Whew. That was just a mess. good. 
Um, here, major, somebody's under a major break, but yeah, see, this is good. CM Pep being um, a, a decent doctor can treat Batista's wounds without too much risk of it like going horribly. And she's not that bad of a doctor. She just needs practice. So that's good, that's good. And Jamie's freed up to do other stuff too. He's playing some pool. No, no, sorry, this is roulette. He's playing some roulette. Hell yeah. I gotta rebuild my turrets though. They, they got destroyed. What else do I have? There's the bigger <laughs> Gatling gun turret. Yeah, but somebody has to man that. It's cool, but somebody has to man that. May explode when damaged. Um, like, this is pretty fun. <laughs> like, I kind of want this. Yeah, we're going to try these. I have, the, I have the materials. I have the resources. If they explode. If they explode and get destroyed, I'm rebuilding them as these, like, steel military turrets. And I still need way better defenses around my walls. Like, good lord. I have the traps, but they're not even all of them built. But, look! Even not all of them built, still killed this guy. And these can be a real pain in the ass. These guys right here, and I think I got one up here too. But I think they already got the, the body. Like, the traps are good, okay? They really do work, but you gotta keep them built. And they take a lot of resources. So, but listen, we have Karen, and because we have Karen, we can get shit done. My food is arriving in two minutes. <laughs> the, in the intensity is high. The intensity is high. The tension. The tension. It was, a I wanted it to be pretty like strategic at least, but it was still scary for, uh, for a minute. I'm glad I fell back from those scythers and let Stacy Lynn and the others like shoot at them because it could have gone badly. Queens only has one arm. I really don't want her fighting unless she kind of has to. I keep some of them close to battles just in case somebody gets down and you need to pull them out. The melee people are good for that because they have on the shield belt. So if they do get shot with friendly fire, it at least absorbs like quite a bit of, um, gunfire or whatever any any of the ranged attacks are blocked by them so I, I had all of them like her Bex like uh, who else was over there CM Pep too had them kind of hovering but everybody did really good everybody's pretty skill skill oh I bet that was my food I bet it was everybody's pretty skilled though honestly so all right one moment let me grab my food guys just give me just give just 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 just, just, just give me a second just, just, just one moment, please, 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 everyone.
someone followed me. Followed me in. Mm-hmm. Wagging your tail. Little, little wiggle tail. Uh, someone followed me in. But I'm pretty sure it's because I have pooped. <laughs> so, come on, puppy. Come on. I know you just want my food, but I'm gonna make you work for it. Okay? But the cricket sounds are probably in the game. Yes, it's nighttime. That makes sense. That makes total sense. Um, come on, puppy. want my food but I also know you don't mind cuddles and attention and if I give you all the attention you're okay with that hmm yeah okay yeah that's right you are warm puppy have you been laying out in the sun I think this puppy has been laying out in the sun every morning when she gets up before she eats her breakfast she wants to go outside we have a little outside bed for her that we lay out in a little sunny spot, and this puppy just lays there and cooks. Like, this is such a California dog right here, this, this puppy. She hates thunderstorms. She hates rain. She doesn't even like rain. And she loves laying outside in the sun. In the dirt, in the old, in the old house that we lived in? Oh, was that a hiccup or was that a burp? In the old house, she used to just lay in the dirt outside in the backyard. Like, we had a little garden box that we never put anything in. <laughs> it was just dirt. But she loved it because it was, like, right in the sun. She is such a sun baby. So she does that every morning, and she feels like she has been doing that. She's very warm and toasty, which is even more reason I'm not wearing a hoodie. Little precious. She's slowly but surely getting more soggy. Oh, puppy. Oh, pup. Have you forgotten about my food yet? Hmm. Yes, this is definitely a purple, a Vikings purple. Color, uh, color of her collar, isn't it? Cause Shane and Mom, big Vikings fan. Purple and gold are great colors. What? Are you over it? Are you over it already? Hmm. Hmm. Isis puppy. Is story time? It is. We need everybody. You just you need a little puppy break sometimes, you know. Take you. You just need to take a minute with your puppers and just love them. Yeah, just resting in my hand. Okay. Okay. Poor baby. Why are you so pitiful? Hmm. Why are you so pitiful? That's why your emote is like your little, little bitty, little little puppy, little. Bugging face. Precious. Oh. Okay. Okay, you're sliding down. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Puppy. You are absolutely... Okay. Okay. Look, 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 look. Do you want... She's... Her lower half is sliding off here. Okay. One, one, one moment. and then move your leg oh my god look at you 
Wow, you're like a child. You're a literal, like, oh my god. She does a little kid thing where she lets her body go limp and, like, won't let you hold her. It is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. I've ne- <laughs> Yes, she's ridiculous. What's up, chill? What's up, chill? Welcome back. We just missed a brief pupper mission. Um, puppy, puppy, just when she when she realizes that she's not the center of the atten of attention, she she suddenly becomes less interested in it. Oh, hey, Stan. What do I want again? Call that puppy. See if she wants. She's literally like soggy doggy out of my lap. Puppy, don't come. Well, no, I'm good. She can stay here. I leave the door cracked. Okay. Thank you. Hi, boy. Actually, I leave the middle door because I got a call, phone call. Okay. Oh, okay, Sam. Your phone's been away. And now the boy's gone. He may come back. Leave it. Leave it open. Leave it like. Leave the middle door because it's a little bit. It's a little quieter. I gotta be on the phone. Already. Yeah. Um, oh. Well, I mean. Okay. Whatever. I'll show her. I'll do it in a second. Um. First of all. There we go. We'll see if the boy finds his way back. This is so good. All right, back to Rim World. Ooh, it's a good one. <laughs> yeah, this puppy is uh, pretty easy to fall in love with. Honestly, she really is. Even though she's very spoiled, her personality is very funny and like, I don't know. She really is precious. The shake is delicious. So good. Oh my God. Chill Myth making his presence known. I'm glad you're still here, lurking, man. I really am. How are we doing on food? Maybe I just need to store more uh, simple meals. Maybe that's, maybe that's the answer. That's what I'm gonna do. I think to use up the extra bit of like vegetables that I have going on. Especially if I'm aiming for 12 colonists. I'm gonna need more food. <laughs> um, you thought the smoothie was going to be in the wrap? I'm not sure how that would work, but no, no. It's a just an actual like a protein smoothie. That's whatever. I throw a bunch of extra crap in it. It's tasty. And then I have a, an, a like a flatbread thing. It's not really a wrap. Sometimes they can show up wrapped, which is weird, but it's not. It's a flatbread. Usually they're just a flatbread, and it's like a peanut butter that wrap. It's good. It's pretty tasty. It's tasty. It works for me anyway. Is somebody gonna get this guy? Anybody? No. Jamie, what you doing, man? Tending to Cody. What's wrong with Cody? Is Cody still sick? Cody, what's wrong with you? He's still got the flu. It's the longest flu ever. I guess thrombo flu lasts a month. Stream cravings are a real thing. Legit, like, honestly. I, well, I have to eat. I have to, RJ Kitty is fully healed. Oh my God, let's make sure he's completely fine. Oh, he still got a little bit of blood loss. He lost a lot of blood. That is so scary. Poor RJ Kitty. 
It was really, it was really, he's fine. He's fine. He's fully recovered. He'll go back to doing what he does best. Now the animals, I have to put all back in their places. Guess, what's this, no shopping? No, I want to allow shopping. What's this? Entertain. Or make friends. Oh, this is how you do that. You have to be careful recruiting people, though. They'll sometimes get mad about it. I may try, though, like when, like some people have relatives that sometimes visit. Now that I've found this, I remember how to do this. You can like try to befriend them and recruit them. Hospitality. But yeah. Does not like enough people. Do I want to allow? Yeah, I might have shop. You can, you can shop. Yeah. Whatever. Wait. Oh, how about this? Hmm. I don't know what shopping means. I think there's ways to set up. Oh shit, what is that doing? I don't want to turn that on, stop that. I hate when shit updates, I gotta turn that off. Please go away. You had to seek out an acai bowl. It's, it's real, it's real, it's real, it's real. I'm gonna go no shopping. I changed my mind. I don't know. I don't know the mechanics enough to know what that in, entails. This guy's got friends in the colony. Oh shit! What is going on? Oh my god! Stop. Puppy! I think my puppy hit wires! Oh my god, she did. She definitely did. Okay. I think uh, everything is fine, but my screens are flickering, and I know why now. Because there is a puppy. One moment. There is a puppy moving on wires under here. Puppy, I have your bed set a certain way for a certain reason, and when you start digging at stuff under here, underneath the desk, you hit my wires. And this is why I didn't put your fucking bed under my desk. But you see, when you did this, I thought if you just got into this, I could dig it away with it because I know that you really like it. But I think I'm going to have to get one more shot. I'm going to move this. Okay. Is it weird? Yeah, no wonder that popped on. Now I understand. It all makes sense now. Because there's a puppy underneath here. Digging and yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Let's see. And it is lagging, of course it is. Oh my god, don't make me restart, please. The splitter is very touchy. This HDMI splitter I have. Very, very touchy. Oh my god, I think I did it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I 
sitting on the floor. Kind of, yes. Um, my connection is not great right now. Why is it doing that? Let me know if you guys are experiencing buffering. I may need to restart the stream. Yeah, puppy bumped the wires. Um, and, oh, Jesus. Um, puppy bumped the, the HDMI cables and it made my side monitors cut off, right? But I, I got them, I fixed it. And they're back, everything's fine. <clears throat> but now it says uh, I'm getting like, a, like whatever the status of my stream on YouTube is saying it's not getting enough whatever. And it doesn't show why because OBS shows me kicking ass right now. So I don't know. No buffering, everything is fine. Good, okay. If, 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 if it's a, a fine, then it's a fine. And that's that. All right. Back to what we were doing. Um, what's what's happening, everyone? We're freaking out. No, it's uh, it's a fun. Uh, the puppy, the puppy, kind of was uh, digging. You know, like making a spot underneath the desk, and she was hitting bumping wires. And that HDMI splitter that I use to have my side monitors, it's really touchy. It works good. It's fine. It's on, but yeah, she, I had, I used to have her bed beside my desk because that she, that's what she does. She does my bed. She does everywhere. She doesn't make a little puppy ball spot. Polly Holiday is pregnant. Um, I have too much food. I need to expand this fridge. This is what we're doing now. I'm gonna research some of that canning stuff and I'm gonna make, I'm gonna can all this as well, but I need the space. Mm. Actually, I may do it along this line here. Let's, I think, actually, puppy. I'm sorry, you're trying to tell me something? Nice, Dixie. A grilled cheese is the... the... Yes? Can I... Can I help you? What does she hear? Absolutely nothing. Oh my god. Her and her little baby Yoda, baby puppy Yoda hat. <laughs> baby Yoda puppy? Baby Yoda puppy is, I want smoothie. No, what are you begging? If you are begging, you are in so much trouble. If you are begging that loudly, I'm drinking my shake first puppy and you can just deal with it. Also, nobody said you were getting any of this wrap. You followed me in here. He's like, I did the puppet mission. Yeah, well. And that's that. What's a cowboy grilled cheese? I'm not familiar.
Brian, what you doing, man? What you doing, dude? Brian is meditating. All right. Get to meditating then. Now, quick. Oh, Jesus. This is never going to get... door here. I like the auto doors. They're very fast. If you need to hide in them, they open and close really quick. They're worth it to run power to. And if I make them out of marble, they're pretty. Marble is one that I've just gotten a few random times from like meteorites and I think I bought it once. But otherwise it's not on the map. But it's very it's a very pretty rock. But it's not very, like, it's not the strongest. I mean, it's still strong, but it's not the strongest. Um, in fact, I think it's, like, the weakest. Slate, maybe. But slate, too. That's why, like, this is, these are decent, but... I have to go with what I got, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? And, look, it got damaged. Got damaged in the fight, man. Right here, too. Seal this up. Boom. Alright. It's coming along nicely, everyone. Very nice. What happened? Oh, shit. A cave in. Oh, my God. Um, we'll do. Huh. Whoops. A wooden column out here. Boop. That way we don't have any more incidents. See? I'm telling you, man. I, I fear. I fear for, for Karen, man. It's a dangerous job, this. Okay, but somebody's got to do it. We gotta, It's the only way we get shit done. If we don't do it, we don't get shit done. That's just that. Little cough has given birth. Well, of course. Of course. There we go. Well, a little bit more. Uh, maybe not there. I like here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And this one too. Mine this steel out. This is I need this. that one. I'll mine this. I may have to build uh, more defense here. But it's coming along nicely. Now I gotta figure out where to put a couple pillars as well. Animal starvation? What the hell? Oh my god, pigs are starving! Got too many of them. We gotta, we gotta, gotta harvest some. Sorry, pigs. too many of them. We're gonna eat some bacon. There's a lot of the calves too, and actually the yaks, yeah, sorry, the calves, the yaks, the yaks, yak, yak, yak. All right, you can go. You can go. You guys can all go. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, goats are... I 
and bacon. They also, like, I get everything done. I don't need as many of them as I have. I put a bunch of stuff in mine that gives it, like, a... It's not grainy texture, but, like... I don't know, more, like, oats and flaxseed, chia seed. Or, like, gives it a... It gives it a texture I like, and I crave sometimes. That's why I like all of it in there. I think the oats especially. I need to get some Pop-Tarts. Ooh, a trade ship. That's the thing I haven't done in a minute. Let's trade anything. Queens, go talk to them! so good I keep trying you know all right let's see we got actually you know what hmm hmm okay please the female is probably not great three baby goats is too many Selling, I'm selling the younger ones. I don't, there's too many. Um, at least the male of the yak. Let's see. Actually, no, you know what? Like, just all the babies. We've got enough of everything. I do like that the pigs bond also. Sleazy Weezy. I cannot believe Sleazy had a heart attack this morning. I cannot believe it. A Welsh Terrier. That's funny. Telling Muffalo would hate it here. It's too hot. Way too hot. Damn, all these yaks. Holy shit. See, that's why I'm selling a bunch of them. We will not sell Cody. He is our rare treasure. We adore him. can sell some of this food, actually. Uh, oh, Jesus. I meant to sell a thousand. How about that? Ooh. Uh, but I am gonna buy the Neutromine off you. Oh, wait. No, that's components. Well, I also want those. And Neutromine. And advanced components. Yeah, okay. Maybe you'll buy more than just some rice off of me. <clears throat> uh... Got a bunch of cloth. I don't really need the synth thread. Uh, Hyperweave. I say, do you want any of these? Leathers. These odds, odds and ends of different textile stuff. I don't need the wildebeest. Like, sometimes if there's not enough of something to make something out of, it's better to just sell it. Because if it's something I'm probably not going to get a lot of, like a random, like, it, sometimes they're gifts. Like. Let's see. But, like. 
I also like sometimes having like fancy pants stuff. So I'm like, whatever. Green chitin, I have some of that? Oh, it's gotta be from like insects and stuff. Yeah, it's taken from a green insectoid. Ugh. Weird. Let's keep it. That one's weird enough that I wanna keep it for a while. Um, Chemshine. I can buy some or I can get rid of it. Well, uh, we're getting rid of it. I don't. We're gonna sell it. That's what you're supposed to do with it anyway, right? <laughs> Luckily, I'm. I usually I don't want to keep people with like a uh, chemical fascination. That's a not a good one. That's like not a good one. That means like any of the drugs they get into them a lot and then they. They develop problems and like it's bad if alcohol like it really is bad that's why if you make a shine shack it's got to be with the right people and it's also going to be away from the main colony like it has to be so that is the thing i do <laughs> i want to do like in a game like this where it's like I'm, I'm more like uh defensive rather than offensive and as far as the fighting and stuff but yeah Oh, see now it's a good, it's a good, good consistency. That puppy has calmed down now, laid down, gone to sleep. You got plasteel though, my man. Ooh, you do, and I'm gonna make you, I'm gonna make you pay me for it because I can afford it right now. Oh yes. Mmm, I can buy some limestone too. rid of a lot. I like it. An excellent cloth overalls. Yeah. I like having those. I like having those available for my people. I think overalls are cool, man. Stacy's ghillie suit. It's at 70%, which is still pretty good. Okay? It's still pretty good. Ooh, that flag jacket's shit. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and you got some gold. I'm buying that. Rugs. Rugs are a th oh shit, I'm gonna drop that. Rugs are a thing I need to put in some of my rooms. How are we doing here? Still okay, I'm still paying them a lot, so I'm gonna sell them even more stuff. Even more. All those random beeswax. It's it sells for a lot, which is great. I'm just not producing it. But like they still leave it as presents, which is fine, because it's valuable and I can sell it eventually. But I'm buying the slime stone, I want it. I'm buying their plasteel, I want it. Um How are you on steel? It's a decent amount, but I also do as do too, so the smoke leaf. I wonder mine must not be in a so you have to put these little beacons inside your base when you do trading with like trade ships and not like a trade caravan. Um, they can only trade with what you have inside the little orbital beacons. And I, I think since I've expanded my base, some of my stuff is not in in the um, zone. So I got plenty of that. I got plenty of that. You buying a lot of my animals, which I appreciate immensely. Um, I could, oh god, Jesus, oh my goodness. So many of the, oh my god. Preg I have so many pregnant animals, it's like, terrifying. I'm like, I can't keep doing this. There's so many. rid of 
have even more. Cause I wanna keep some. I wanna keep some of my money. I have so many of these guys. I just don't. You guys playing the Pop-Tart game? You're playing the Pop-Tart game with Al. Al, Al. Because I was like, I need some Pop-Tarts. Do you need some Pop-Tarts? See, like, these guys, like, no. Okay, okay. I think that's a decent amount. All right, I'm willing to pay you this amount to get these things and for you to take these things. We accept the barter. Go. Hell yeah. Now. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh my god, I should have sold all of the stuff in there. I didn't realize they were the other food was like <laughs> there's spillover. Lord. Well, we're expanding we're expanding the kitchen. We're gonna make a canning area. See, that's more important to me than security. <laughs> uh... Oh yeah, you know what I didn't do? I didn't put little Apple Wolf on his schedule. Alright, let's look at him real quick. We got raided right when he showed up. Remember that? Remember that when that happened? Jesus. Classic strawberry pop tarts are my favorite. Uh, with icing. Like, I love them. But I like a lot of the other flavors too. What's a cowboy grilled cheese? I asked that earlier. Maybe someone answered, but I missed it. Um, is Queen's back to researching? I think she is. What do we want little Alpha Wolf to do around the colony? Hmm? He's not very good at building. He's... He doesn't care for growing, but we have, we have everybody to do that pretty much. What do we need? He can do anything. Well, we should set him to do, want to do crafting if it's available. Maybe we set him to research. We make him a little a little genius child, hmm? Or we I should set him to hunting so that he does it and it should be relatively safe if I set the right animals like lemurs, things that won't kill him if they turn to attack him. And that way cuz he needs to develop his shooting skill. But when he's not hunting, I want him doing research. He needs to be smart. Now he can do mining, he can... Whatever, he doesn't even need to do gardening. He doesn't have a passion for it. A quarry eventually will be a thing we might have to do when we run out of stone. Um, he can chop trees, he can work. He can chop trees. That's not a bad one. Take that off of Stacy Lynn. Yeah, that's your, you, that's, yeah. If I set trees to be cut, you should definitely do that. Um, basic crafting, like, I guess if he wants to do it, but he's low skill. So if there's low level ones that the others won't do, then maybe he'll do those. I don't know. Set him on crafting. Beekeeping. We don't have any bees right now. Hauling. Cleaning. Okay. All right, I feel, I, I like that. And then his schedule, I think, you know, he's a child. We should put him on a normal schedule, like everyone else. He gets his two hours of meditation in the morning. He gets two hours of recreation at night. They have two hours to do whatever they want during the day. Like, whatever they want. And Jamie the, doesn't sleep two of the hours out of the night because he has a, a trait that allows him to sleep less, basically, and, and recover the same amount. Mmm. A cowboy grilled cheese. It's a Texas, Texas toast grilled cheese with pulled pork and barbecue sauce. That sounds delicious. Yes, it does. I love it. Oh, damn, look at him building them. Hell yeah. Add 
building another one of these as well. Something like, I don't know. At least the range is a little bit better on this one. They get like damaged and eventually explode. That's why all the time I have explosions here. Really, I should put a wall or something over this to protect it. Um, but yeah, this should be fine. There you go. And then, yeah, we'll do the same thing. We'll build the slate barricade. Like I said, not the strongest, but provides decent cover that hopefully a decent enough turret will be able to protect itself. Hopefully. Hopefully. What's up, Art? Yes, making you hungry. The stream, we were talking about the stream cravings, man. They're freaking legit. It's a real thing. Queens is wearing the ghillie hood. Oh my god, it's amazing. I love it. Okay, wear whatever you want. Yeah, Brian. Hell yeah. We doing good stuff. Oh my god, now we got synthetic organs. Yes! I think we can get Batista a new lung. Can we do that? I want to do that. But first, let's see what else we can research. Let's see. Prosthetics, bionics. Mm. Yeah. I kind of want that. I kind of want that. And see, I put Alpha Wolf on hunting, and he'll also do the fishing, which is good. Um, and Stacey Land, you cannot do that. Wait, wait, no, sorry. You can do hunting, but you do not. Wait. Interesting. Oh, that's the other mod. That's right, I had both of them. I was gonna see, I may not have had both, but eh! Yeah, we'll leave it for now, but actually, let just take that off since we're not using it. So there's another mod where you can like designate fishing zones and they'll fish in them, but I like these little piers. So, and obviously you don't need to have it checked for them to fish in the pier because they were doing it, because it counts as hunting. So, it's a good one, that's a good one to do. In fact, because he's a child, I'm going to set Alpha Wolf to... Oh shit, hold on, pause. Somebody's about to have a break. I'm going to set Alpha Wolf to stay in the home area. Which is not, like... I don't know. Unrestricted, they can go anywhere on the map. But the home area, like, yes, it's all a lot very dangerous. But I think it's better for him. And any hunting, he can do inside the walls. Which is the fishing, basically. So that's, that's what I want him doing. There's two spots to fish. I might even be able to put a third like here. I'm gonna see. That'd be good. And I'm also gonna make this the home area because I saw that it was not. Yeah, like all this can be. Like just outside the walls, the meditation tree, and basically anything inside the wall. So, which includes this area. I feel like, now that I'm looking at it, if I was going to make a little shine shack area, it would be, it'll be where we clear out, open this ancient danger. Um, <clears throat> because it's away from the main part of the colony. I have enough room to build the whole building, all the production stuff I need. 
I can put stockpiles and everything. Like, it's close enough. I mean, not close enough, but, like, far enough away that, like, the worker pigs and all the people doing all the hauling can run supplies and stockpile there. And I can set a few people to exist basically just in this zone and, like, just do that. You put a trade beacon up here, whatever, and you make it possible to trade. We're good to go. This is obviously the safest side of the map, too. So if I, when I build a caravan spot, it's gonna be probably like here. Um, that way, because honestly, this side of the map is by far the safest. Um, I never get raided over here. And even when guys randomly drop in, I don't know that I've ever had any other interactions other than this side. And I'm getting ready to put this turret here, which is gonna catch a lot of them. But like the, the right side of the map, I have almost nothing coming in. And I have like this big ass wall, all these traps. Like the only time the traps have ever been hit is because of animals. So, but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna put Alpha Wolf to only be able to go in here. Um, yeah. Make this a little bit around the meditation tree. I legit, I don't want them wandering around up here. Pretty much just stay at the meditation tree. It's the home area. Listen, he's not the child of any of the colonists, but he's our child, okay? And we have to protect little Alpha Wolf. go. This is a bit more organized home area. That's expanded because of fires, which really I should do something about. I don't know what to do, but this should also be considered home area. Right here. Definitely don't need these anymore, so you can turn these off, in fact. Because ever since I added the extra solar panels, we're, like, we're good to go. Speaking of, you know what we don't have any of? Wood. So, hey, Alpha Wolf, we have to put you to work! Avoid him, basically. There. Like, I just cleared, like, he's got, like, six patches to clear. Hey! It's a fine. He gonna earn his keep. Uh, oh my god, I love it. Queen's is wearing the ballistic goggles and the ghillie hood. And her armor. It's great. It's really great. Get it, Karen? She's killing it, man. I need to, I'm just gonna set all of these to mine. Karen does it so fast, she honestly can stay ahead of me, so I'm gonna... Let's put granite. She's got that to do, actually perfect. Um, ooh, this scares me. Might as well get those components, though. I'll forget about them. I'm, like, I might as well just do it. Got a lot of mining projects. I know you can handle it. Let's see if I can drop another fish in here somewhere. Like, it doesn't have to be like the best. 33%. Like, 33% is like a third of the time he'll catch a fish, right? That's pretty good. 34%. That's pretty good. And it's safe inside the walls. Oh, oh. 
No, that's not very good. Someone's starving. Okay, there was a definitely a 34% of those. Let's see if I can get it. That's pretty good. 35%. Perfect. See? Three fishing spots. I bet I could fit a fourth one in here. Probably wouldn't be very good, but still. Whoa, whoa, what's happening? Who's about to have a break? What the hell? Queens, what are you doing? Stop. Go meditate. What's your problem? What do you want? Well, you ain't got no toes. You got three of your toes, toes cut off. Recreation star. What are you talking about? Don't be ridiculous. Okay. There is so much recreation, it's ridiculous. Okay? It's ridiculous. Am I gonna have to build another guest room in this spot? Maybe. Like an entertainment room? And expand the workshop out on this side, maybe? I do think that's a better idea. This does tend to be the safer spot, and if it's- yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I see what I'm- I know what I wanna do now! And I'm gonna make it out of limestone because I just bought all of that. So I shall, I'll have some excess. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Go move the telescope, don't worry. Not a bad spot for a door though. Um, reinstall out here by the, uh, the campfire and the bench. Need to be out here anyway. Oh shit, Queens is in a daze. All right, all right, Queens, we're working on it. We're making an entertainment room. Chill, just chill, okay, just chill. That's a bit of planning tool. Like, uh, basically, another turret somewhere here. Maybe outside the... Like, right here. Because they do come down this side a lot, and it's like, I'm kind of screwed, because they don't come over here. Same with this, though. Maybe this is... Honestly, probably need both. To be totally fair. set it to build just cause because I can and I want to yeah so it catches them coming in that door there and we'll also protect that other uh, thing it looks like okay all right I like this I don't... and see look at this I need it right here boom showed like where it was blocked by the wall like what its line of sight is that may be a mod I need to look for because I wanted to have the line of sight on both of those Just out of range of the other one, which I hate. I really hate that. See, if it's like this, it will get them as, as soon as they open the door. But actually, you should put it off. I know why I should put it off too, because friendly fire, it will it definitely would shoot someone trying to get through there, so you gotta be careful. Okay. Almost 
almost, almost. Just put it right there. I think I like that. On the corner, guarding the little condos, you know? I should have enough for the barricade as well. Not enough. No, we have enough. Trust me, okay? Trust me. Yeah, of course we can't forget Canada Day. Um, as you guys know, it is Canada Day. And uh, according to a, a real live Canadian in RJ City, uh, you just observe it. So that's what we've been doing. We've observed Canada Day. Merry Canada Day to everyone. After selling all the pigs, the pigs are like, we ain't hauling your shit anymore. Just put it in the treasure vault. Come on. Just, just put it in there. Throwing a party! We're starving. Why are they starving? Here. That's what we gotta do. Orders. Expand the loud area. We're gonna expand the yak area. See here. Okay. Expanding it. One. Now, I cannot figure out, like, the pigs, I think, keep eating my Devil Strand, which is very upsetting. Very upsetting. Because, well, just because. So what I, the, the solution is you make a zone, if I want basically unlimited, so you can go over the whole map, except for the Devil Strand, which is a mushroom, which is why I think the pigs keep eating it. So I'm gonna have to like make a zone over the whole map ex with everything except the Devil Strand. And I'm gonna do it. Right, we're gonna, we aren't even gonna do the shopping done. No, no, no. This is pigs. Worker pigs. And then the yak area, I'm also gonna adjust to not be in the Devil Strand area so that the pigs leave it alone. Now let's expand the worker pigs area, which is basically nothing right now. And then I'll just make do this. Oh. Because I want them to be able to haul everything. So if there's anything anywhere on the map, they can haul it. Canada. Hey, that was a good one. I'll take credit for that. It was good. He said he wears a hockey jersey and sneezes maple syrup. And ew, gross. I don't know. That just sounds unpleasant to sneeze maple syrup. I feel like that'd be painful and a very unpleasant experience. Alright, pigs. You about to be able to go everywhere except except the mushroom field. Damn it. Leave my leave my truffles alone, pigs. You truffle thieves. Every single one of you. You're guilty of it and I know it. Alright. Clear the allowed area, which is worker pigs. Get away from the truffles. Now, the yak area also. Clear allowed area. Yaks. See, I see it's still part of it. Get away from the truffles. You hear? Don't even get don't even don't even get that close. You need the grass around it, but you will stay a full square away from all of my vegetables that are growing. But they do need the grass, so, and I like for them to eat the grass. I think it's helpful. Um, so please help yourselves to the grass. It's wonderful. 
And I'm probably going to build this out soon, but for now, I'll leave it. eaten up all the grass all of it all of it all of it here you go enjoy the grass everyone now you have all you have half half of the space inside the walls Y'all can use now. Let's put it on. Oh, everybody's still stuck in that. No wonder they're starving! God, they probably didn't need that much extra grass then. Whatever, it's a fine. We'll see how it works. You know? We'll see how it works. Unfortunately for me, I don't know what you're talking about. It's fortunate for me. You get all the best clips. And gifts. I mean, that's not. I won't listen. I won't say you get all of them. But you definitely get a lot of them. Okay, I appreciate that. I think I don't appreciate that. All right, let's see. Yaks. Um, you know what else I'm gonna make? Uh, that's not true, actually. Good lord. We need to butcher these animals before something goes terribly, terribly wrong. Um, hmm. Let's see. Home area. RJ Kitty, yes, I would like him to stay inside the home area. that can haul, of course, like we normally do. You know, I tamed that Bigfoot and nobody has befriended him, but whatever. It's a fine. We'll still, we'll still keep him here. pigs. No, no. Never mind. Hold on. I'm on to you. I'm on to you! Yeah, right here. That's what you guys are for. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you assholes. I'm on. I fixed it. I was doing the same thing again. Uh, but yeah, here we go. Yeah, get out of my truffles. We can make truffle potatoes. Mm hmm silly tax. Well, I don't care if you call it silly, as long as you paid it. So I thank you. All these, all these yaks. The yak area. There. That's a much more manageable number of yaks. Now, what about the, the goats? Everyone spread out. Were you in here earlier, Rebecca, when there was the battle going on? You did you did well. You did. Everybody did, actually. God, CM Pep, there's so much to butcher. Yeah, basically any animal corpse, and I don't know why sometimes they don't. It 
It was funny when I gave Alpha Wolf the rifle. It was like, it's too big for him. And that was adorable. That was a very adorable. Look at him just sleeping. Uh, those damned pigs are everywhere. Basically, they're just outside in the yard. We have a yard. Karen is mining. Batista, what you doing? Building a... Building a... Turret, which is good. Uh, yeah, I want to do it out of limestone, because I have, I have that now. It's good to bring. Oh, oh, what's that? Go, Karen. Hell yeah. yeah. Let's check our animal trainers. Who we got doing that? Who we got doing that? How and how? Why? Let's see. We got two people dedicated to it. Batista, I'm putting you on it too. That's what we definitely need. You can chill on the research. Building, but animal handling. We have a much more manageable number of animals, but I want them all trained up now. Because I was getting so many that I couldn't, I couldn't keep them all trained. And if you don't use the skills, they lose them. Which I enjoy that they're. Oh shit! A wild boar revenge. Oh no! Harry Tyler Moore. Oh shit! Harry Tyler Moore was hunting and got. Oh damn! She destroyed it though. Ooh! You don't mess with Harry Tyler Moore. Mm mm. No rifles for baby Alpha. Nope. Nope. It was kind of adorable, though. Let's see. Once I get this uh, turret built, I might try and open the Ancient Danger. I might. not a bad idea to put it like this open up a open up a portion of the wall and then put some traps outside of it open up a portion of the wall hide them right put a bunch of traps out there so that anything that follows you out it's at least gonna get hit with that um, and then I have everybody else standing over here with sniper rifles ready to shoot so that's what we're gonna do that's what we're gonna do Jamie what are you building right now Meditating. That's a fun. Everybody can meditate. Now maybe I'll get some devil strand. I wonder, I've been growing this devil strand forever. Ah, these elephants are getting in my truffles too. Hey, you're a wild elephant. What are you doing in here? Hmm? You know what? Basically anything that needs to be unrestricted. All these animals. All of them are guilty. You dang truffle thieves. Single one of you. Mm-hmm. That's right. Except RJ Kitty. He can get into the troubles. He ain't gonna eat this whole field. I don't even think they I don't even think the Panthers do, but the elephants do. Yep. Queens is out here just losing her shit. Losing her shit. No idea why. Tired. She's a He has. A, what? What's attached to you? What's wrong with you? You ain't got nothing on you. <gasps> Wait. No. You got nothing. You have nothing attached to you. What do you have on you that you don't like? There's literally nothing on her. That's so random. She's not wearing anything she doesn't want to. Puppy, what are you growling at? What? Okay. Doo -doo -doo. I have such an, a massive overflow of food. It 
that's a five. Yeah, little apple wolf, get smart, kid. That's right. That's right. dare you. Rebecca lives to kill and murder the things I hold dear in this game. Holy shit, there's a lot of stuff going on over here. Overalls are done. Okay, good, good, good. Throne is not usable. Yes, we know the, the room is not done yet, okay? Just, we're, we're getting there. Given birth. Oh my god, he's making sombreros now. Yes! I love sombreros! Somebody ain't cooking, and they need to be. JDG. Look at that. Going the extra mile. Throwing the extra lights on. Clearly, again, this goes in the realm of icing or the jam inside the crepe uh, or the honey inside the wrap. Speaking of, I need to get it out now. Um, but, I mean, who doesn't love icing on the cake? I mean, some people don't matter. But I do, and that's what matters here. I'm going to get this, I'm going to open this, but then gonna take a break in like two minutes. I'm waiting to see. I'm basically waiting to see if anything in this schedule like conflicts. Oh my god, it's so good. I love the little granola pieces. Yum. Go back to cutting rocks, Bex. That's all we want out of you. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, nope, nope. Actually, you know what? Yeah, hold on. Hold on. No mining. Just crafting. You know what? No meditation for you. You're going to cut rocks. trees here so these guys have a clear line of sight when we open up this ancient danger that's right i'm planning for it it's probably not even that bad but it just it could be okay and i'm trying to i'm trying to expand okay wait and i need this area from a shine shack all right it's still relatively protected inside the colony but i don't have to hopefully worry about my normal colonists getting into it. 
At least we hope not. The Grand Meditation Throne Palace is almost done. We're making we're making some small adjustments and also working on stuff. But I'm gonna make this side room also Queen's uh, bed chambers. There's like big fancy beds you can make and stuff. Yeah. Oh. Batteries are full. Turn this off. All right. Dixie was lurking. Oh, it's so cute. Uh, what the cute. Very what the cute. Queen's, what you doing? Queen's always meditating. Well, that's her thing, though. So that makes sense. Oh, this needs treatment. Good lord. Stop with all this nonsense. Oh, look. Oh my god, blood. That's the five finger fillet table. I love when they cut themselves on it. I mean, <laughs> that sounds horrible, but it's just funny. It's funny that they do it and it actually cuts them and then sometimes there's a little blood. Oh god. It's never been serious. It's always minor. She needs the practice for uh, training her medical anyway. Um, Alright, give me just a couple minutes, guys. Let me... Um, do a couple things. Clean up my space here. Um, check on a puppy. Since she stalked out of the room. And I'll be right back. I'm gonna leave the sweet, soothing sounds of RimWorld going for you, though. Pay the tax if you haven't. Don't, don't be insolent.
I'm back and I got a hoodie. I got the hoodie, in fact. Thank you guys for waiting patiently. I do really appreciate it. You know, allow me a moment to get comfortable. Hello? It's just like, it's like my body, guys. Puppy, that door, the other door is open. <laughs> She'll figure it out. She'll figure it out. She just knows I still have food, that's all. Oh, that feels so good on my ear. All right, what do we got going on? I'm finally getting my animals organized more. We're gonna get the defenses organized as well. Things are, things are going well. Jesus, Brian Clark with a dude, really large, uh, Donation. Thanks, man. Oh, God. Hit pause. It's gonna get away from me. No, I'll put it on one. I'll keep an eye on it. There we go. Jesus. Brian. My God, dude. Praise the sun. The bright red orb has shone upon us again. Uh, yeah, no, I feel like I feel bad even making jokes. Um... What the hell? A space battle? What has happened? Is this... Is this the cost of the great red orb? Is now there's a space battle? Oh my god. Missed shots and debris can impact in the ground the area. This is gonna lead to mass fires. Okay, well, I'm gonna deal with this, too. Um, but I do really just want to say, Brian. That's amazing. Thank you very much. I don't know what to say, man. You show a massive amount of support to the stream and... It's very appreciated. So now, having said that, let's deal with this space battle and see uh, if, if what the cost, what the true cost of the Great Red Orb is. Hopefully nothing. Maybe just some pieces of spaceship fall out of the sky, you know? Whoa, 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 I heard that. I definitely heard that. Oh, damn! Oh my god! This is when I need an indoor. <sighs> You've caused a space battle, Brian. Yeah, it says there's like gonna be missed any missed shots. It's like happening around our planet. Oh shit! That's close. Oh my god, no! Hey, what's that? Hey, what's that? Oh, that's a dead body. Wow, she did not even make the the crash. Yeah, that happens sometimes. That's gonna happen sometimes, you know? That's gonna happen sometimes. Just stay on the bottom here. Oh God. Healbex is still alive, yes, yes. Hey, hey, here's a ba uh, person. Evans! Evans, an independent space refugee. Yeah, Evans, we'll save you. We'll save you, Evans. Oh shit, you bleed out in nine hours? Here, rescue him, Jamie. Go, go, Dr. Jamie, go. Oh, shit, he's got to run out through a war zone. Oh, my God. You got this, Jamie. This is some epic shit right here. If you go down like this, it's worth it, man. Holy shit. That's a big-ass piece of ship. So is that. Oh, my God. Set those to deconstruct. Jesus. Go, Jamie, go. Oh, no! They don't exist anymore! Evans, we only just met you! Damn. Thank God Jamie didn't get her, I guess. So much for that. I thought we were gonna get another person, but no. Nope. Damn. Oh, shit! I did. Bleeding out in 18 hours. Alright, we're gonna wait for this damn thing to be over. Because... This is dangerous, actually. I might, yeah, I'm definitely gonna take these off of Deconstruct, too. Even though I'm like, I've had this set up here to be Deconstruct forever and they haven't done it. Like, I don't think he'll get to it anytime soon, but still, this is really dangerous. Holy shit. Dead. This, this one might survive if, but I'm gonna wait. I don't want Jamie to go out like that. 
I made that joke and I was like, it's epic. But then I'm like, no, actually, I think it would happen. Especially since the guy literally just blew up. Poor, <laughs> poor Evan. F's in the chat for Evans before we even saved him. Her. I don't even know if it was a him or a her. Ida? I don't know if Ida's gonna make it. I don't know. I'm not running out there until it says the space battle's over. Larson? Oh my god. We got two people now. Holy shit. Okay, okay, okay. Death in seven hours. See, I don't know if we can get to you. Super immune? Wow. Cool. I want to save some of these guys. Is it over? Come on. All right, Jamie, I changed my mind. I don't, let's look at you first. Yeah, actually, yeah, I want this super immune kid. Or is he a kid? He is! He's a 14-year-old kid. It's awesome. Super immune. Rescue him. It's a fine. You're gonna... Jesus Christ. You're gonna be a fine, Jamie. You're gonna be a fine. Never mind! You're not a fine. Not the fine. Poor Ida. Are you gonna make it? I'm gonna send you out. You can do this. Come on! Come on! I'm just asking for it, man. Another dead body. Jesus. You know what? I don't know. I'm regretting this now. Oh god, Jamie. Oh god, another person. Death in five hours. Uh, but see, he has an artery bro blockage in his heart. He's a short timer. I love our th all the Fs in the chat. Like, I keep trying to save someone. And this, this Ida has 18 hours, 16 hours now. So I'm like, ah, oh, I can probably wait. But now, like, Jamie's in the danger zone. If this is how he goes, this is how he goes. This is the story, okay? I'm saving Ida. I want a person. They're cool. Oh, Jesus. You good, man? You good! That's right. Just, just make your way right along the mountain here. Just take your time. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. We got you, Ida. We got you. I don't know what, oh, oh, yeah, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, you're a pyromaniac? No, 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 you may not join us. Come on. Come on, Jamie. You got her, Jamie. Oh, Jesus. Hey, what about Satsuki? Hell? Huh? No immediate danger. What the hell? Okay. Oh, my goodness, and you're, mm, actually, yeah, you're cool. Um... Karen, you're tough. Go get her. Wait, Karen, you're way the hell up there. Never mind. Uh, who's close? Um, that's scary. Can this space battle be over? Oh, damn! Direct hit? Holy shit. A direct hit and still gonna live for seven hours. I can't save you, I'm sorry. We got Ida. We got Ida. Uh, unless somebody lands inside our base and can't risk it. Or right in front of it, I guess. Zlata Barnes. Brian accepts full responsibility. <laughs> um, this is a crazy one. This is a crazy event. Holy shit. I really want to rescue this kid right here. Can this be over? It has destroyed the lower half of this map. It's kind of cool, actually. It's a neat event. Some of, not all of them survive. Can this be 
done? Now listen, it is hitting pretty close here a few times. I'm amazed that Jamie got through this without getting dying. He's almost got her back. All right, we gonna heal her. No, no, see, Brian, there's the, this is the silver lining right here, okay? Look at Ida with her cool mohawk and her shaved head. She's awesome. Age, oh my God, is she a kid? A six-year-old kid. What the, I did not even, again, I did not even realize. Wow, but she's been, her, her biological age is six years old. Her chronological age is 97 years, which means she got put on ice at some point in her life, at, 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 at age six, uh, and she's actually 97 years old, but she's only six. And we've saved her now. Look, we've saved her. No, no, no. We want industrial. The good, the good, the good, the good, good. Give her the good, good. Are you? Just give her the best. We got the. What are you doing, Jamie? Why are you not. Giving her the good stuff. I don't understand. Whatever, as long as she lives. I trust your judgment, Jamie. Good lord. Is it over? No, it's not. It's not over yet. Oh god. Mm. Got another person. English. Oh my god. Look at all these people. Just falling out of the sky, man. Uh oh, my animals are going to pick up stuff. I kinda don't mind it. Jesus, Dolly. Jesus. a ton of stuff to deconstruct though that's cool that's actually cool and maybe if we're lucky we'll get more than just a few kids because I believe that's all we've got right now Still going. I'm still kind of scared to have anybody go get anybody right now. A little bit scared. As I should be. Oof! There went. Yep. See, I made the right choice. I made the right choice. All right. Is it over? No, it's not over. How long is this gonna last? Stop fighting! Exactly, Tie Pie. That's exactly what I thought. Like, I can spare the animals. To be fair, though, the, the elephants are not reproducing because they're they're all females, I think. But they're good, like pack animals, work animals. Oh my God! See, this one hit inside. Yikes! It's getting closer. Ah! Oh, it's over. Holy shit! Everybody, almost everybody, got wiped. All right, Setsuki, how long? Three hours and two hours. I am not feeling real good, especially with everyone across the map trying to... meditate. But we're still gonna try. We're still gonna try. I doubt I'll make it, to be perfectly honest. I doubt I will make it. Ida has recovered and decided to leave. No, no, Ida. No, no. No, no, child. Listen to us here. That's not how that works. 
All right. You're going to join us. You're going to like it. You're going to love it here. You can be friends with Little Alpha Wolf. Y'all can be the, the children of the village of Narf. It's actually the village of Soundmere. I mean, we're all Narfites. But see, little Ida, you're just a child. You don't understand. We'll reduce your resistance. You'll join us in no time. And you'll get your own bedroom. It'll be great. In fact, one of these nice ones might even be open. I think they are. Ah, oh, Satsuki died. Damn, we tried. She did at least pick her up. Where's where's the other? Did, was it Karen? Did you get him? English die as well? I guess so. Everybody's dead. Yeah, the little child is the only one we salvaged out of all of them. Visitors. What y'all doing here? What y'all doing here? It's so pleasant, the music. It's like the happy music after this just horrific accident. My god. Here, let's select all of the ship chunks. Set them to deconstruct. Jesus. Uh, and I'm gonna allow... <laughs> all the bodies? It's crazy! We're gonna allow all. So the animals will take the bodies <clears throat> to the area, and then we, of course, dispose of them. In a, in a humane, well, not humane, I mean, it is humane, but it's like, it's, it's decent. But I can't afford to bury everyone. We don't have that kind of space. We really don't. Ah, oh, thank you for finishing the traps, Jamie. Good lord, I cannot believe. Oh my god. I need some meat coolers. I know. I know. Uh, let's see. Told me to wrap up the stream. It's my stream. I wrap it up when I want. Hey, nobody has to watch. You just gotta pay the tax if you watch a little bit. That's all I'm saying. That's it. That's it. After that, it ain't on me. That's on you. You're the one with me on the TV. As long as you pay the tax, I'm good. I'm good for the day. That's it. Hmm. This is what we're gonna do. What are we gonna do? No, those are in there. That should definitely picked it up. Actually, now that this is built too. Ooh, I got plans. I got big plans. Good lord, and still when no one has moved that. auto doors so pretty much anywhere I can I'm gonna build the auto doors now I feel like they're much safer the twang is a weapon it is I have so much food you know what it is I have a garden bot that keeps my garden going and I don't really have to worry about it any more fishing spots. Finish building this stuff. Alright, hold on. 
So I'm gonna expand the freezer, like, check this out. But we gotta make sure we put a roof on this first. Oh my god. Yeah, don't, don't do this yet. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay. Actually, this is too wide, and I will need a column or a post or something. Maybe perhaps a limestone post. Something nice. Actually, I might need two. Now that I look at it. These are big expansions, you guys. There we go. No cave-ins on Karen. Not gonna have it. Not gonna do it. Jesus. I gotta set more people to cooking. We don't have nearly enough people doing it. Uh, especially not with C and Pep doing animals as well. Queens, I need you to do it. We got little Alpha Wolf to do research. So you need to not worry about that. Put it on the child, let the child. And then we'll get little Ida to join us as well. That's hilarious. She's six years old. We're gonna put her to work. Just you watch. All right, we got coolers. I'm gonna make these meat freezers again. Um, actually, we'll put it one lower than whatever this is important. Meat. Where's it at? There. Meat. And then copy. Perfect. Now, hopefully, we can store more of the meat. Because we, <laughs> we are just stocked up. What you doing, turtle? Here. We need to butcher a little bit. goes to the meditation tree every morning. Hey, what's this bush doing here? We don't need that. Get out of here. Can anybody link? Oh yeah, I was supposed to send someone to link with this. Bex, can you do it? No. Who can, who can link? Nobody. Jamie. Aha, Jamie can. Okay, yeah, yeah, do it, Jamie. Jamie can become a sidecaster as well. I'm not, I have no idea how to use it and I'm I don't really understand the mechanics yet. I need to watch some videos. The good news is, what I do know enough about it is to know that if you, it, it doesn't hurt them to not use it. Um, so as I mess around with it, basically, that's what I'm doing. Now, who's my set builder? Do I have a set builder? I have like three. Yeah, Jamie's like the major one, so. set to do it as well.
that? Cargo pods of weapons? Jump to location. What's this? Oh, uh, just a tomahawk. Okay. Oh, oh, and a plasteel hatchet. Ooh, that's a good axe. Who's carrying the axe? CM Pep? Hey, this is a new axe for CM Pep. This is a real good axe. Yeah. There you go, CM Pep. Get you some. Amy is what? Eating the fine. Batista, what you doing? Meditating. You know, you really should have a little bit of time every day uh, set aside to meditate, even if it's just a few minutes. It's it's good for actual humans as well as RimWorld humans. I do like that it's in the game now, and I think it's cool that they've turned it into the, like the psychic mechanic. It's basically like magic, like casters. It's cool. It adds a little element of fantasy that I like without being like straight up like fantasy fantasy like orcs and elves and stuff. Which, by the way, there are mods to add. There's a mod to add alien races as well. Like Some of that stuff I want to try, but I want to try it on a new save and not, not a current save. Because they sometimes really big mods like that can mess up like, it can corrupt the save file, basically, and you'll lose it. So you gotta be real careful with mods when you're testing them out and using them and adding them. And I'm kind of attached to this village, so... Who are you? A guest. Okay. You are for guest. Mm, interesting. Did we build the columns, Jamie? Trust me, you want to you want to build this post, Jamie, before you build the roof. Little alpha wolf is sleeping. Dang, he does work fast on chopping down the trees, though. Holy smokes. Like, for real. I need to set somebody to do some art. I use a lot of this wood. It's good, good stuff. Alright, there's that. You know what? We can attach these. I'll be a lot better off. Finish, finish this project, Jamie, for the love of God. That's the problem when you have too many projects going at once, is you have to micromanage to get them sometimes to work on the ones you want. Queens is about to have a mental break. Why don't you get your shit together then? Hmm? She wants her throne room, that's what it is. She's really just getting impatient. Waiting on her throne room. I want you to work on this. I really do. Felionel Richie is hilarious. Done, Jamie. Come on, man. Ryan, what you doing? Making components? Okay. I'll accept it.
everybody's a little irritated, and I'm not sure why. I think they're overworked. I've got... I guess I gotta get, I gotta get shit balanced. Come on, Ida. Join us. Join us. Hmm? Don't worry, we'll break her. Stone, which is great. It's really great. So, we'll make this be something pretty. Yeah. Like this. Probably have to put another cooler. It's gotta be cold. Like, Queens is set to focus on cooking and Wardening, and so is. I'm gonna make Brian start to help with the cooking as well. For sure. Oh, he's watching television. That's so cute. Queens is just. Not happy. She's just not happy. Everybody, what are they, just freaked out by the the space battle that wreaked havoc down here? Good lord. I cannot believe. Left it being unharvested. What the hell, Garden Bot? Huh? Did you do any job, Garden Bot? You need a, you, do you need some help, Garden Bot? Is that what the problem is? Nobody really set to help with that. I wanted it to be Brian. Damn. Alright. Put Stacy Lynn and maybe. do cooking, hopefully, as a backup job. Understand when they get hung up doing these like, like cook with what's right in front of you. Why are you doing this long ass run? That doesn't really make sense. Not when there's a stack right there. Okay, whatever. I guess she just wants to use it. I don't know. We'll let her. It's a fine. It's fine. That's right. Work on the expansion. Karen way up here? Damn, it is. She's killing it, man. But if I don't have anybody cutting stone blocks, then it just, like, doesn't do any good. Doesn't matter. Queens, can you get your shit together? I need you for a project. Or, yeah, for a project. Let's make sure everybody has on flag vests. One per colonist. But then account equipped. How's that with 
Five out of nine. So, oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Right, that's what I want. Maybe perhaps Brian can make that for everyone. That'd be nice. Now, I made that simple prosthetic hand. Let's give Alpha Wolf his hand. <laughs> Little Alpha Wolf. Well, you can do this, dude. We're gonna have Jamie do it. It's gonna be great. Which hand? Your right hand. See, you can do the wrong hand. Don't don't be that person. Um, hand. Prosthetic hand. Just simple. Boom. Right there. Yeah. And we're gonna we're gonna set him to do it. So he's gonna go here, and then we're gonna. Jamie is like fully rested, fully everything. He's in a great mood. Now is a great time him to do this so we want him to well let's feed alpha wolf since he's hungry and he needs that oh look at his hair that's so cute and then we're gonna set him to operate all right all right everyone pray for alpha wolf you have a new hand yay Right. See? He's good to go. Perfect. Efficiency is 70%. So it's still, like I said, not as good as a... You know, it's not a fancy bionic hand. But it's better than nothing, and we we it might be a minute till we get the research done to do something more than that. So we're going to wait for now. He at least deserves that. It's a pretty simple surgery. It's not like he's, you know, replacing his heart or something. I feel like it's manageable. Now this room, I'm gonna make into some... Because it's like an entertainment room, we're gonna do carpet in here. too much carpet. Red wool carpet. Red check carpet. Yeah, I like the check carpet. Let's do... Good color. What color we want? Ooh, black. Ominous. Maybe dark. This is the dark, I believe. It's a There's gonna be a lot of foot traffic in there. So. Yeah, let's do dark. Yeah, see, I don't even have enough to do it yet. You know what I'm gonna do? I do not need these strawberries. Or whatever these are, tomatoes. Don't need them. We don't need them. This corn is, honestly, I think the two, I feel like I could have a little patch of corn here. I don't know, man. I don't want to screw up again and like end up with no food. Winter is coming, although it's not that severe here in, in the tropical rainforest, but I definitely don't need this. So I'm gonna make this cotton as well, so we can get some more cloth. The heel root, I mean, it's great. This little patch of heel root, I keep it more than stocked. Like, I have plenty of medicine. I have plenty of smoke leaf. We keep, like, a ton of smoke leaf. In fact, it just piles up. I can't, I... Yeah. See, until I start... Hmm. I might, once we clear out the ancient danger, build another type of, like, a warehouse for trading supplies here. So that when I do pack my caravans and send them, like... For, like, trade goods. Because, like, these smoke leaf joints, like, they are literally just to sell. I could keep a small amount for the people because they do seem to enjoy it. But, like... 
Yeah. And, the, and, and you can wait for caravans to come to you, but, like, there's no way to know when they stop by. You can call them, but that also costs, um, like, whatever, ally points or something. Let's look and see. Oh, Jesus, Queens has collapsed. Get up, Queens. Come here. Call them. All right. Must be ally. You're not an ally? What the hell? Uh, the Bool Nation. What you got? Cost 15 goodwill? Well, come on. Definitely bulk goods trader. Cool. from this. Makes zero sense. Makes zero sense. Meat and meat, though. I can go here, I guess. meals. Simple meal. Just a simple meal. There we go. But, yes, critical, please. Becca's the nicest person ever. Bex is, Bex is all right. Bex is making smoke leaf joints right now. Bex is good. Everybody's like pretty good. We just, we have to keep the supply train going, you know? We have to be careful about that. I'm gonna need to build some more battery rooms. So I wish to God we would finish this some, at some point. Horseshoes pin. That's so funny. Here, we can put horseshoes out here. There. <laughs> oh, auto saving. Oh, God. It's a fun. have left us eggs. I didn't even notice. Who else, is, who else can help us build? Got a group of travelers.
gonna make Karen, I'm gonna make Karen help us. You know why? Because we have enough rocks for now. What we, ne what we need now are the builders. Karen can do it. Just you watch. People always seem to assume there is some sort of inherent danger with me. I mean, they might be right. I would say it depends on what you consider uh, dangerous or threatening. But either way, I have noticed people always do seem to assume it's there. Which is a fine, I guess. Queens, you a cooking? Maybe... The slowest cooking train ever. I don't know why. I, I, I can't wait for this to get expanded so that I don't have to worry about this mess here. And, oh yeah, oh, did I change this? on that garden bot. It says moody. Yeah, the moody tab. That's a mod. It is hilarious though, if you think about it, I guess. And it kind of gives you a way to like quickly see what everyone is doing. It's a good mod. And also representative of me, I think. You back, Karen? You helping us build? Hell yeah, you are. Hell yeah, you are. See? Uh-oh, uh-oh, what the hell's that? What's about- oh god, who's got the flu? Damn, a lot of people got the flu. Ooh, shit. Okay. Well, everybody. Yeah, this can also be medical. Yeah, this can also be- Yeah, we need to, everybody needs to treat everybody. Oh my. Here we go. Queens. Take care of Queens. It's seeing Pep's taking care of herself. She can also take care of Queens. Who else needs to get their medicine? Karen, you got it? Batista. Bex. Who else got it? Alpha Wolf? Don't worry, we're gonna take care of everybody. CM Pep, also please take care of Ida. Oh, you are good. Good, good. I like CM Pep as backup doctor. Ida, you can have the good medicine. Just, just give her the good medicine. We have plenty. I want her to join us. I don't want her to hate us. Okay. All right, everybody's taken care of. Rest inside the hospital, everyone. Actually, never mind. Never mind, Rebecca. You cannot. That's right. Remember, no caring, no social, and no intellectual. So if it requires caring or thinking, you're like, nah. Nope. Not doing it. Not doing it. I 
I love that Karen, Karen is the one that if I have to like, I have too much of one job that I need done and I don't have, like, it's not enough for one person to do it. She is like the person that can do it. expand this and make it bigger and uh, I'm gonna have some other food processing stuff but like Jesus Christ it's a lot I have a lot of food Bex what are you wearing the ghillie suit you are that's funny Ah, a group from the Shattered Empire are visiting the colony. Oh my god, see, this is where I'm gonna actually, I am gonna try and befriend them. I want, I want to befriend you. RJ City has a lot of panther kittens to name. I may actually have to like... I originally was going to be like, everybody gets a panther, but like... It doesn't work that way. Because it just doesn't work that way. Not everyone can handle animals like the same way. So only one the ones that kind of have a tendency to do it can. They are really good though. But I don't need 87 of them. They got the flu. But we can treat it pretty well. Who are you, Blue Crow? Oh shit, of course there's a raid. Of course there is. Oh damn, look at him. Moving, moving. Klondike, are you attacking my animals? Oh my god, you are. You bastards. You bastards. All of you. Yeah, they're gonna hit some traps, I can tell you that right now. Alright. Hey, we might have the flu. We got this, though. Everybody's gonna handle their business. Flu or no flu. And at least with these guys, they all attack from one direction. All right. Mm. All right please, animals, go to go to safety, animals. This is this. Is why I need to look for some mods to help manage these guys. I know Loco gave me some. I need to just look them up. Um, Cause I gotta put all the animals up. Cause I can't, uh, you know, uh, I need them out of the way. Um, what you doing? 
get up, Brian. Okay. Little Alpha Wolf. I want you I want you to see battle, kid. Get up. Don't think you're getting out of this. Nope. How dare- they're already shooting my elephant, you bastards. You're assholes. You're really assholes. Uh, okay. Wait, are they gathering first? If they are, I can shoot some mortars at them. I thought they were gonna follow my my elephant in, but they did not. Where you at, Stacy? You right there? Brian, Batista. I don't know, man. I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna get in position and just wait. They're coming soon. They gotta be coming soon. Come on. Are they going around this way? Jesus, really? They are just waiting, you assholes. Come here, Alpha Wolf. Get over here. You got this. attack over here then. These bastards. I legit thought they were gonna just rush because they already engaged with the elephant. I guess they're smarter than that. Whatever. Now my people are gonna be tired. Dicks. Alright, here you go. That's right. Load it up. Of course now they begin their assault. We'll shoot one. We're gonna shoot one. Get up here, Alpha Wolf. Oh jeez, that's actually pretty scary. Oh my god, that was a, not a bad shot. Okay, there you go. There we go, there we go. Oh shit, there was a bunch down there too? Good lord. Jamie, what you doing? How is Klondike? Good, no immediate danger. So we'll keep him up here. That's right, that's right, keep coming up here. Keep hitting my traps, see what happens. Oh my god, look at Bex just sitting here waiting. Get him! Wait, 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 Bex, wait! Nope, right here, gotcha! Yeah! Yeah! Haha. -ha. Can't get you. Where you at? Uh huh. Go, 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 go. Uh huh! Ooh, this turret is good. Go, 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 Queens. Yeah, I like this this turret now protecting down here because this was a problem too. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? Queens, what's wrong with you? Hmm? There's nothing wrong with you! Oh, a bruise. I mean, you'll be fine, okay? Get him, Bex. Get this guy. Get this asshole right here. Come on. Oh, shit. What are you doing? Get 
What's happening? Who needs a rescue? Queens! Bex has got you, don't worry. There we go. Oh, shit. Why can't I hit you? Oh, shit. How you doing, Queens? How we doing? You're bleeding out in six hours? I kind of probably need to get you. But you know what we're going to do? Alright. Go, 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 go. You, you got this, you got this, you got this. Alpha Wolf, you're back! Just in time! Oh shit, I'm covering you, Bex! Hey, nice hit! Got him! Oh my god, they're fleeing. That's goddamn right! You're goddamn right! Ooh, an assault rifle? Gimme. Bleeding out in 16 hours. Hmm. Hmm. Listen, they ain't running yet. Alright, Bex, you good. You got Queens. Queens is fine. Hey, 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 hey. Go, go, go. That's right. You better run! Oh my god, look at their little hands. Arr! Yeah, you're getting shot by my turrets now, ain't you? Not so fun now, is it? That's what I thought. I think everybody's pretty good. Um, Batista, how are you? Health here. Nothing crazy. Oh, your nose is shattered though. Damn. That was a fight. Help, let's check this guy. Alright, yeah, so this is what we're gonna do with you. Oh shit, got him. Damn. You know what? He'll bleed out. Rescue this shield person here. That's right. Harry, Tyler Moore, and Stacy Lynn. Let's check your health. Death in four hours. But <laughs> jealous and pretty and incapable of dumb labor, but really good at a lot, actually. Jung. Check this guy out. Death in five hours. I love these guys that get hit by these traps that I never see. Like, I didn't even see them coming in. Death in five hours. I think the one I'm saving might be it. Because we also have Ida. Let's not forget Ida. I think that's pretty good. Brian Clark, you good, man. Who, Joris, who are you? Death in six hours. Ooh, he ain't got an arm, though. Sorry about that. And Kate, what about you? Yeah, everybody. Yep, yep, yep. Guess you guys are done. So we're going to do allow all. All right. There we go. Jamie, what you doing? <laughs> Jamie, I'm gonna need you to wait here to get ready to take care of Queens. Brian Clark, you going to lay down? You should. You are shot in the finger, sir! What else we got? Batista, how's your health? What happened to you? Well, you got your face messed up a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty rough. Bex, you're also pretty messed up. I'm not gonna lie. Alpha Wolf, what you doing, dude? Cool. Hey, man. Little Alpha Wolf is getting to see some real... Some real battles here, alright? Queens did get pretty hurt in that. 
Jesus. But again, thanks to some new turrets, none of which got destroyed, I don't think. We did... Ah, uh, this one did. But good, I can rebuild it as uh, that other one. And I can probably st stand to put another one somewhere else. Like, this one's actually kind of hard to protect because the water is here, so... I can stand to I can stand to have one more. I got the I got the energy for it, the power for it. Um, let's make sure everybody's tended to. CM Pets got them. Take care of Batista, please, Jamie. And then Karen too's like, all right, back to building, anyways. Anyways, back to just building stuff. It's great. Wait, where was the person I captured? I definitely... Oh, shit. Death in 12 hours. Whoops! You were the one I was trying to... Oh, it was when I uh, did the thing. Alright, he should still be fine. He should still be fine. He's got 12 hours. He's good. And she jumped on one of the panthers. Who'd you jump on? Hmm? The Lionel Richie. I was like, I thought I got one more prisoner. I did. I definitely did. Hey, everybody survived, and... Uh, we're good, we're good, and no body parts were lost. No animals were harmed. Speaking of, we gotta put them back in their spots now. Yeah, that's right, everybody back in their spots. It's good. I can tell more and more people are, or people, more and more of the animals are getting trained, though, thanks to being in the right zones. So they're actually doing the job more than I want them to, which is nice. There we go. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Ha! That's right. That's right, intruders. This is what you get! Ooh! See? What the hell? They did kind of this up down here. Yep, I'm going to have to put some more defenses down here. Even though the traps get them, it's a, it's a nice little choke point to get them with traps. They, they did really do a number. still. Or not the animals, but the, uh, like, this area here. Okay. Guys, I have a plan. It's very Dutch of me to say, but it's true. I can see it all coming together now. Look, this is Queen's meditation throne. She loves it. We're gonna keep building more stuff in here, alright? Speaking of... Queens. The bedroom portion's coming soon. Right now we have an issue with too much food. It's a real issue and uh, yeah. Jamie's taking care of these guys. Alright, it's a fun, I guess. Um, okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna save it here. I think this is a good spot. No, we did not open the engine danger. You can't make me. I'll do it when I want to. Okay, don't rush me. But it is almost 1.30, and I did want to accomplish a few other things today. One of them being working out. I did have a good breakfast though. I'm trying to make sure I'm not missing anything. This is good, we can start, we got some stuff to heal. We got prisoners. If I can recruit these guys, I think I'll hit a sweet spot as far as the number of colonists, and then I'll actually be able to do a lot more of the stuff I want to do. So. I 
I love that you guys have been lurking all day. I love it. I love it. I love it. Or, of course, those of you that hang out and chat and talk the whole time and keep me just as entertained as I keep you. At least, I, I, I mean, I am quite entertained by you guys as a chat room and as a community. So I can only assume that the feeling is mutual since y'all keep coming back and hanging out every day. Um, and I just want to say I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone. I'm glad y'all enjoy the lurk emote. It's cute. I like it. It's fitting. So this is a very different type of stream, I feel like. Um, and it's, at least here, I feel like it's perfectly acceptable to just lurk away. Um, as long as you pay the tax, of course. You know, even lurkers have to pay the tax. But thank you guys. There was a, a lot of icing on the cake today. Thank you again to anybody that donated and contributed um, and showed support to the stream and to me. I appreciate it. Um, as of right now, I will be streaming tomorrow. If that is to change, I will post about it in the community tab. Even if it's like I, if I'm streaming at a different time or something, um, I'll let you guys know so that whatever, you know what the schedule is. Um, so thank you guys again excited about everything. I'll be posting about the t-shirt soon, so keep an eye out for that, because it's a fun and we should all wear shirts that say it. Um, and I contacted them about my bulk order, and it was a whole thing where they had put a hold on doing any bulk orders for a while, but mine had come in, I guess, right before the cutoff, but they hadn't sent me an invoice. So whatever, it was a whole thing. I got it taken care of. The shirts are coming, so I'll have my own shirts which is also very nice. Um, but that's it, guys. I'm out. Thank you again. Uh, and I will see you in the next stream.